keep working, she, the, the good thing is going to start to happen for her because she's not, she hasn't stopped working. She's continuing to work hard, and good things are going to start to happen. That shot's going to start falling. And when she get going, man, when she get going, you know, it's going to be hard to stop her. Well, I've heard the basketball adage, you shoot yourself in a slump, you can shoot yourself out of a slump. <laughs> well, you know, you can definitely do that, uh, but she's not in that, you know, if you look at the game chart, she's not taking a lot of shots. You know, she, I think she took seven shots the other night. You know, someone like that, that double-figure shots. You got to take double-figure shots, and that's what we try to encourage her to do. But, she, you know, she don't. She feel like she don't have to take double-figure shots when she got Henderson coming off the bench getting 15. She, she just she plays with what's going on with the floor of the game, and she got teammates playing well. She can kind of sit back and kind of watch him. But, you know, we've got to be pushing like, you got to go. You know, we, we don't want you sitting back. We want you to be aggressive because she makes the game easier for her teammates when she, she's going – I just continue to be impressed how she gets her spots. She can get the elbow. She can get on the block. I mean, no one is stopping her from getting whatever shot she wants wherever on the floor. Well, no question about that. It's just a matter of whether she's making them or not. Yeah. If she's making them, because normally she gets her shot. She gets to her spots, and she, she's able to get her shot. Because I remember I was talking to her one time about, you know, you need to take that to the basket. She said, because she's bagging off me, I'm getting what I want. And she was. She was getting what she wants. She just wasn't making them. I said, you have to change it up every now. When you're not making what you want, you have to do something different to be able to get that shot again. So she knows she knows how to play the game. She just got to keep her confidence up, and, and the shot's going to start falling. How big would this be, Coach, with Jackson coming in here? Um, Jackson's got Bethune, and we'll be watching that game. But just to continue the confidence and the momentum, you know, going for a third win in a row. No, it's huge. It's huge. I mean, it's a big game for us simply because uh, uh, Sam is ahead of us. And we we got a chance to move closer to them. So that's what makes the game so huge. And it's a home game for us. You want to try to win and win uh, your home games because uh, once we play Jackson on next Saturday, we hit the road again. So these home games are important. Coach Nate Kilbert joining us. Coach, let's go get them. Appreciate it, Charles. We'll take this time out. Starting lineups and play-by-play -play from the Whitney Arena in one minute. This is all for him, Bray. He's basketball. <laughs> In school sports, it's easy to see the wins, the moments that make headlines. But there's so much work that goes unseen for any of it to happen. My name is Phil Risen, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Throughout the country, athletic administrators dedicate countless hours to making life-changing opportunities possible for student-athletes through schools. Their sacrifice is fueled by the belief that every student can grow and deserves their time to shine. On behalf of the NIAAA, we want to thank every athletic administrator for your tireless dedication to providing 7.8 million students across the country a path to a better future. This message presented by the NIAAA, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. you back to the Davy Whitney Arena here on this Monday night. Glad you can join us. However, way you might be checking us out on the radio, 91.7 WPRL and WPRL.org or watching online. Glad you can join us. Happy to have you. As we look at the lineup for this big Monday night game, Mashani Gilbert, the junior from West Palm Beach, Florida, Ariana Grizzle. Was the number one scorer in this league at 21 a game. She had a stretch where she was averaging almost 30 a game. Look at Grizzle, the senior from Toronto and Alabama transfer. Nate Kilber talked about it. That Subarats, Subarats heard it with a big shot down the stretch. The junior from Spain, a ball state transfer. Followed by Haley Brennan, the sophomore from the Valley, Florida, Daytona State Community College transfer. And Olivia Delancey, top four scorer in this conference. Delancey, the six-foot sophomore from St. Petersburg, Florida. That is the lineup for Florida a &M. For the Lady Braves, Tajane Wright, top six in assists. The grad student from Brooklyn, New York, followed by Destiny Brown. The junior from L.A., top five score, top five on the boards, number one in field goal percentage. Nakia Cheatham, the senior from Clarksdale, top seven on the boards at seven a game. Zania White, top eight score, the junior. 
from Hazelhurst, and Mia McAlfia, the 5'5 senior from Newton. That is the lineup for this Monday night matchup. We'll be following the other scores. UAPB, Alabama A&M just underway. Gremlin, Prairie View, Southern Texas Southern, Bethune, Cookman, Jackson State. Lady Braves have the tiebreaker on Bethune, Cookman. Due to points, got FAMU at six and six. That's kind of the next step up in the ladder. The Lady Braves are tied with Texas Southern for ninth place at four and eight. We got a tie for seventh. Bethune, Cookman, Prairie View at five and seven, and FAMU six and six. Alabama A&M six and six. We got FAMU today. We got the tiebreaker on Bethune Cookman, our next road trip at Prairie View. And, um, you know, look, Alabama AM. Even though know, they beat us, they got some tough games to go. Here's the tip as Destiny Brown jumping center with Jayla Sharp, who's getting the start in this game. And we've got a clock issue here at the start of this game. Just underway from the Whitney Arena. Lady Braves looking for their third win in a row. Beat Valley last Monday. He put through Cookman on Saturday, looking for their third straight win. With Jackson State coming in here Saturday, off next Monday, and then we head to Texas. We play Prairie View first, then Texas Southern, home to Valley and UAPB to finish the regular season. Where will the Lady Braves land? Can they land in the top eight? Yep, they sure can. They got to continue their winning ways. Look out the top of the circle. Look out the front by the Subarox. Now the step back three, Tajanae Wright is good. That's a good sign. Tajanae Wright getting going early. We hope, good shot there. Good bucket to start. Three nothing, the Lady Braves with the lead. Subarot's white baseline trying to dump it inside. Now with it is Sharp, her floater is good. Sharp, her first bucket. Sharp makes it a three two game. You see much of Sharp in that first meeting. Lady Braves handle the pressure. Destiny Brown, a pull up at the free throw line is good. The Lady Braves start two for two. Handling the pressure. Destiny Brown puts all corner up five to two, a minute in. Super out top of the circle, fronted by McAlphia. Lady Braves in the white. They and you in the green. Super out off the screen. Right wing back pedals, fronted by McAlphia. Now Grizzle on the attack, her pull up. It's good. There's a little separation. There's a coming off a 16-point effort against Jackson. And it's a 5-4 game. Make out the far sideline. Now the baseline, far sideline pass to Cheatham. Back to McAlphia. 16 to shoot. Grizzle fronting McAlphia. McAlphia. Tajanae right left wing. Tajanae. McAlphia. Destiny Brown. Six to shoot. Destiny had to attack behind the back dribble, fumbles it two to shoot. McAlphia just puts it up, just grazed iron. And Gilbert with it for FAMU. Subarot's out of head. Behind the back dribble, lost it. Ball back tap. And with it is Delancey. Delancey can hurt you from beyond the arc, and she did in that first meeting. Grizzle inside the free throw line. Grizzle on the curl. Gilbert. Subarot's on the attack. The ball fake pull up, good. Subarot's with her first bucket. Three field goals by the Rattlers. Three different Rattlers have scored. 6-5, FAMU. Two and a half minutes into this first quarter. Tajanae Wright on the trail. Gets it to Destiny Brown. Right wing, McAlphia. Tajanae Wright will step into a three. She's got it again. Good start for Tajanae Wright. Two for two from beyond the arc. It's time for Tajanae Wright to get going. It's like Zania White. We talked about it in the pregame. Eight to six. Lady Braves with the lead. For FAMU Delancey. Subarot's right wing. Top of the circle. Grizzle. Grizzle going left. Left block. Her pull up. That's good. Grizzle with four. Oh, she's good. Really good. Eight all. She had a stretch where she was averaging 29 a game. And that got attention all throughout the swag. All across the country for that matter. She's an Alabama transfer. 8-8 game. 17 to shoot. 6.40 left in the first quarter. 13 to shoot. McAlphia. Tajane right had the back door. Back to the bucket. Couldn't get there. Destiny Brown right wing. 6 to shoot. Destiny Brown with 4 to shoot. Tajane right. Step back 3. Way off. 
Winning for FAMU is Sharp. Sharp getting it out of here. Delancey, her fadeaway. That's good. Olivia Delancey, top four scorer. Four of the five FAMU starters have scored. 10-8 Rattlers. Tajane Wright. Crossing mid-court, fronted by Subarats, right wing McAlphia, fronted by Grizzle. 18 to shoot, four minutes in, 10-8 Rattlers. McAlphia, fronted by Grizzle, right wing, off the curl, Tajane Wright, call for steps. Keep in that hesitation with nine to shoot. 10-8, Lady Rattlers with the lead. Here in the first four minutes of this first quarter. For FAMU, Nishani Gilbert, top three free throw percentage shooter in conference games, over 80%. Subarats, right wing sharp, sharp on the dump end, got a kickball with 5.45 left in the first quarter. FAMU tied for fifth with Alabama AM at 6-6. Six and six. Well, you plays two games back, we got six games left in the regular season. Baseline left, Subarats on the lob. Now with it, going, attacking Grizzle on the kick out, Subarats for three, nope, rebounds, and Iowa came down on her back, and she's called for steps. Nate Kilbert thought it was contact there, he talks with the wing official, and Nate Kilbert motioning as to what happened. Grizzle baseline left, Grizzle. Lob to Delancey. Delancey on the attack. Pump fake floater off the mark. Destiny Brown for the Lady Braves. Four and a half minutes in. 10-8 Rattlers. McAlpio. Fronted by Subarats. Ties in a right. Right wing. Fronted by Delancey. Destiny Brown. Brown fronted by Sharp. Brown, Tajane right left wing, 17 to shoot. Tajane looking for a curl, nothing there. Destiny Brown steps out, she'll attack. Brown, her one-hander, no, and she's fouled. Oh, they call Destiny Brown for the offensive foul. And I am baffled with that call. Did Destiny push off? She might have, and that's probably the only reason why. She was off balance. Don't she might have, you know, I don't see how she pushed off and she was off balance on that shot. We will post the halfway point of this first quarter. Bradley's ball, and they have the lead, 10-8. Grizzle right wing. Grizzle off the screen, goes left. Grizzle in the paint. Grizzle, and she's called for steps. And that takes us to a timeout. 10-8, Rattlers with the lead. 4.56 left in the first. We'll take a timeout here. We'll be right back. This is Lady Braves basketball. Just a trim. You can use the number two. Four, three, one. 20, 1, 20, over 80. That is not the number I need. Oh, without knowing the blood pressure numbers, you don't know if you're at risk of heart attack, hypertension. The only hypertension I'm getting is I'm not getting my hair cut. We're going to check your numbers right here. Okay, I'll check them. What's your number? Oh, I wish you had it. I'm going to check my SD trivia. 120 over 8. The Jackson Heart Study. The future of health starts here. Visit jacksonheartstudy.org. Join Charles the voice of the race at Miss and Coach Landry Bussey for the Coach Landry Bussey's radio show, Wednesday at 6 until 6.30, and Coach Nate Kilbert, 6.30 to 7 p.m. Both coaches will be kicking it with Charles, talking about the past game and the upcoming games. Remember, that's Wednesday at 6 until 6.30, and 6.30 to 7. Coach Landry Bussey and Coach Nate Kilbert, Alcorn State University Braves basketball. Fifty-six left in the first quarter. 10-8, Rattlers. Lady Braves shooting three of five, 60%. Rattlers five of seven, 74%. Rebounds are even at two. But the Lady Braves with three turnovers halfway through the first. You know, we had a four-game stretch. We were averaging 24 turnovers a game, all in losses. Three already here in the first five minutes of this quarter. McAlphia, fronted by Grizzle. Tajane Wright, left wing. Zaniah White on the dump in. Off-balance floater, rimmed out. 
The ball out of bounds. And it will remain Lady Braves basketball. Twenty to shoot. Tajane Wright, Rob Destiny Brown. Janai White passed up a shot down here. McAlphia for three, and it's good. That's the third triple for the Lady Braves here in the first five and a half minutes. And Alcorn with an 11 to 10 lead. Gilbert top of the circle. Fronted by McAlphia. Gilbert, no action. And now popping out is Delancey. Delancey fronted by Tajane Wright, 10 to shoot. Delancey holds it. Screen set by Sharp. Delancey will pull up. Too long, and she went over the back. Sharp went over the back her first. <laughs> Lady Braves basketball. Leah McAlphia, Tajane Wright. McAlphia right now. Yeah. Yeah. At the top of the circle, fronted by Grizzle. Lady Braves on 11 to 10 lead. Zania White left wing. Step back, nothing there. 10 to shoot. Tajane Wright in the corner, another three. It's too long. Pink ball around that rim. Called in by Gilbert. Gilbert on the attack. Gets it out of head, Grizzle. Grizzle curling left. Grizzle pull up at the free throw line, and that's good. She's getting to her spot. She's got six. 12-11. Lady Braves trail by one. We've got to slow down Grizzle if we want to have a chance. She had 18 in the first meeting. She's averaging 21 a game. She had 16 against Jackson State Saturday. Jackson won big over this Bayview team. The extra pass here, and here's Cheatham for three in air ball. Tracked down by Ronald Sylvester, who's in the lineup for FAMU. Sylvester to Grizzle. Grizzle right wing. Grizzle going left. In the paint. Kick out. Three ball. Gilbert. Nope. Destiny Brown on the weak side with the rebound. Ball on the floor. Sliding as McAlphia and tried to get it to Zania White. Slid out of bounds. Two forty-five left here in the first. Substitution for FAMU. Checking into the lineup, Annabelle Latori, the senior from Spain, in the lineup for FAMU. Sylvester right wing. Sylvester with sixteen to shoot at the top of the circle. Pass knocked away by Cheatham, intended for Grizzle. With 13 to shoot. 12-11, Lady Braves trail by one. Gilbert to my left, to the right of the Lady Braves bench. Gilbert's pass intercepted as Grizzle was going left. Pass thrown right, turnover for FAMU. McAlphia top of the circle. McAlphia with 20 to shoot. Zaniah White left wing. Zaniah, Tajane right. Cheatham in the corner. Cheatham. Now Zaniah White. Jump step. Floater. No. Rebound. AMU's Gilbert. Gets it out ahead to Grizzle. Grizzle. Gets it to Sylvester. On the skip pass. Pass behind Gilbert but recovers. Gets it to Grizzle. 20 to shoot. Two to play in the first quarter. 12-11. Rattlers. Sylvester right wing. Off the screen by Delancey. Sylvester going left. Sylvester to the trailer. Here's a three. Grizzle too long. Rebound. Toy took the bump. Loaded too strong. Ball trickles into the Lady Braves bench. And it'll be all corners basketball. Ford in. Henderson in. When they killed it making later substitutions in this game, normally about three or four minutes in, he'll make his first couple of subs. 138 left. 12-11, Lady Braves with the lead. 137 left here in this first quarter. McAlphia walks it up, picked up 
by Subarats. Henderson right wing. Ford sets the screen. Tajane right. And there's Steele. Tajane. Nice look inside. Denial White foul. Nice look inside by Tajane Wright. Denial White fouled by Sylvester. Second team first on Sylvester. Denial White at the free throw line. Free throws. Snake Kilbert talked about in the pregame. Better from the free throw line of late. Got to keep that trend going. So Nia White in conference game shooting 68%. So we wind down this first quarter on this Monday night. Jackson will be in here on Saturday. First free throw is good. It's the first free throw attempt for the Lady Braves. A tied at 12. 120 left here in the first. Second free throw coming up. And this one is good. Janiah White makes it a 13-12 game. Gilbert, Subarats, double running at her. Subarats had to take it away. Janiah White going to the rack. She lays it up and in. Janiah White, her first field goal. Lady Blaze by three, 15-12. Five on answer for the Lady Blaze after FAMU led 12-11. Subarats. On the skip pass, Subarat, Sylvester, a floater, no. Ball carried out of bounds, and it will be Lady Blaze basketball. Grizzle will check back into the lineup. First year head coach Bridget Gordon, she was hired in the summer, so kind of a late start for her as previous coach left in the summer. So Coach Gordon coming in late and has a red loose battle with a six and six mark. 35 seconds left in the first. Ford right wing. 15 to shoot. Tajane right, left wing. Tajane fronted by Gilbert. Ford on a skip pass. Ford, seven to shoot. McAlphia with six to shoot, gets the screen, goes right. Now Tajane right's gotta make it happen. Step back three, go! against the clock, Tajane Wright, her third triple of this first quarter. Lady Braves by six, 18 to 12. 10 to shoot, clock off. And you can play for the final shot. Sylvester going left. Sylvester out top, going right. Her three is up. Too long, into the quarter. Tajane Wright, the story in this first quarter. Three triples, including a WNBA three, as the Lady Braves are up 18 to 12 through the first 10 minutes. Good start for Alcorn. Lady Braves trying to get to five wins. Depending on, on what happens with Bethune, Cookman, Jackson, Preview, in their game, Lady Braves can be right in the hunt for the top eight for the win here tonight. We'll take a break. Second quarter coming up, 18 to 12. Alcorn, this is Braves basketball. This message is underwritten by the Old Country Store. Mr. Dean, it's wonderful staff would like to take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your support down through the years and look forward to seeing you back in 2024. And if you haven't been to the Old Country Store, what are you waiting on, my friend? You are missing out on some down-home good cooking like Grandmama used to do back in the day. The Old Country Store is home of that famous fried chicken. Mm -mm. Good. The Old Country Store is open daily 10 to 4 for dine-in or carry-out. They are located on Highway 61 in Norman, Mississippi. Look for the marquee sign with Mr. D holding that famous fried chicken, and you would definitely know you are in the right place. And while you're there, please put your request in for that grandmama's soul. That's the Old Country Store, a proud underwriter of WPRL 91.7 FM. <laughs> Team 12, Lady Braves, as we get ready for the second quarter. Alcorn needs your support more now than ever. Show your Alcorn pride. Support our champions and scholars all year long through the always Alcorn annual fund. Make your gift today. Help us continue to dare to achieve for the next 150 years. Call 601-877-6296. Or you can go to www.alcorn.edu backslash foundation. 
Lady Bay setting the foundation for this first half, leading by six, 18 to 12. Early second quarter, and Grizzle on the attack, and she's fouled. Underway here in quarter number two, and the foul is on McAlphia, her first. 23 seconds into this second quarter. Twenty to shoot, and on the inbound, Sylvester. Sylvester dribble drive, lean, kick out, Gilbert. Now Sylvester getting it inside, shot blocked as they got it inside, and for the Lady Braves, Nick Alpha, Sydney Hendricks into the lineup for FAMU. 20 to shoot. Lady Blaze by six. Henderson skip past Tajanae Wright. Left wing, McAlphia. 10 to shoot. Ford, a pull up. Too strong. No Destiny Brown in the lineup will start the second. Gilbert with it. Gilbert on the handoff, Sylvester. Sylvester in traffic. Her step back on the way. That's no good. Rebounds, Anaya White. And we got a foul called on FAMU. The push. The foul's going to be on the Lady Rattlers. Adele Latoy with her first. Sydney Hendricks, the freshman from Farmington Hills, Michigan, in the lineup for FAMU. Tajanae Wright will get a seat. Kaylin Watkins in for the Lady Braves. Six point advantage on corn. 8.40 left in the half. McAlphia fronted by Grizzle with six first quarter points. McAlphia right wing, pass knocked away by Grizzle, recovers. Grizzle, two on two, Grizzle had it stripped. And with it for FAMU is Sylvester. Down the attack, Hendricks floaters up, no. Rebound, Ford. Ford Henderson the lineup with Mia McAlphia. Zaniah White for the Lady Braves and Kaylin Watkins. 20 to shoot. Uh, at the back door again. And for the Lady Braves, Henderson, second, Nate Kilber said he had that back door a couple of times in this half. 10 to shoot, four top of the circle, front of by Latore. Seven to shoot, Henderson left wing with five to shoot on the attack. Henderson up and under floater, too strong. Four trying to keep it alive. And did on the baseline, saved it. Saved it to Henderson, left wing, Watkins. 17 to shoot. 7.37 left in the second quarter. 18 to 12, Lady Blaze with the lead. A oh, bad pass by Watkins, knocked away. Ford not in position. Here's Grizzle on the attack. Grizzle will pull up. Too long, ball back tap to Henderson. Henderson on the attack, one on two. Henderson, and it's stripped by Grizzle out of bounds. 26 to shoot. Ashani Backus will check in. Delancey checks in for FAMU. Hendricks has a seat, 26 to shoot. And now Cheatham will check back in for the Lady Braves. 7-18 left in quarter number two. Zania White will have a seat. 18 to 12, Lady Braves by six. The biggest so far in this first half. Watkins left wing, Ford sets the screen. Watkins goes right, back is right wing, 18 to shoot. Back is top of the circle, Watkins. Coming open three late is Henderson. 10 to shoot, Henderson on the attack. Her floater off the mark, and a blocking foul on the Lady Rattler. She'll have two. And the foul will be called on Latoy, her second. Free throws coming up as Taylor Sharp will check in for FAMU and for Latore. Henderson at the free throw line for the Lady Braves. In the second quarter, Henderson shooting 57% in conference games. Seven minutes left here in this second. We'll take the scoreboard here. Looking at just some of the scores on this Monday night. Lady Braves trying to climb into the top eight. First free throw by Henderson, no. Check it. 
Coming up for Henderson. Lady Brace two for three from the line. Second is up by Henderson. That rattles out. We don't want this trend of missing free throws here. Over two on that trip. Now on the attack of Sylvester. Her floater is good. Coast to coast. They are Sylvester. Her first bucket. Four point all corn lead. They led by six. Can't afford to go into a fog here. Got to execute. Missed a couple of free throws the last trip. We'll see if we can get on this trip with 18 to shoot. Shiny back is running the point. Back is fronted by Sylvester. Watkins is open left. Hits Taylor Watkins left wing. Ford sets the screen. Watkins goes right. Skip pass. Cheatham. Seven to shoot. On the jump in four. Double team. Ross it. Got it back. Cheatham with three to shoot. Henderson ball. Fake drive. Nice dump in in the four. She missed the floater. And the rebound shot. Lady Bird up against the clock there. And Sylvester. Sylvester right wing on the handoff. Grizzle curling left off the screen. Grizzle her fade away. No good. Off back tap. Grizzle had it. Henderson took it away. We got to do a possession. And we'll go to the Lady Braves. With six minutes left in the second quarter. Scores around the league. Southern winning at Texas Southern. 26 to 18 in the second. Grambling. PVU at the Baby Dome. Texas will be our next road trip. We play at Prairie View first. PVU 18. Grambling 16. In the first. Jackson Bethune Cookman 7 all. And Alabama AM over UAPB 24 to 12. That's a eye opening score in the early going. Seven minutes left in the second quarter. 558 left here. 18 14. Lady Blazer. Shotty Backus right wing. Cheatham right baseline. Falling out of bounds. She's able to get it to Watkins for three, and it's good. The fourth triple for the Lady Braves in the first half. Watkins gives all corner the biggest lead, a touchdown lead, 21 to 14 with 5.38 left. Here in the second, Subarats top of the circle, fronted by Backus. Subarats on screen, goes left, goes right in the paint, trying, you know, trying to penetrate inside. Well, lost out of bounds to the Lady Braves. It's slow and getting up is Gilbert. 5.24 left in the second quarter. 21-14. All corn by seven, the biggest, with 5.20 left in the second quarter. Back at Backus top of the circle, fronted by Subarats. Backus, Destiny Brown back in, has it right elbow, right of the free throw line, 16 to shoot. Cheatham right wing. Cheatham in the corner. Backus on the dump in. Henderson, a floater too strong. Destiny Brown foul. Try to catch it and put it back up. She knew he was going to be fouled. And the foul was on Grizzle, her first. Hendricks will check into the lineup for Florida A&M. Sydney Hendricks. In for the Lady, Lady Rattlers. And Destiny Brown at the free throw line with well, her mother here from California. He'll be here through next week. First free throw is good. Destiny Brown with three. Lady Brace three for five from the line. Destiny Brown shooting 73% in conference games. Second is on the way, and that's no good. Trapped down by Hendricks. Hendricks down by Backus. Hendricks. Throws it out of here, Delancey. Delancey on the attack, and she's fouled. With 4.54 left, the arm bar on Cheatham. And I'll send this to a timeout. With 4.54 left in the second quarter, Lady Blaze with their biggest lead, 8-22-14. 4.54 left in the second quarter. We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back after this. This is Blaze Basketball. Jerry, was that a bird? No, just folks banging on the C Spire store window. I bet they heard we have the new iPhone 15 Pro. Look, more people in. My grandma? Your grandma's fierce. The new iPhone 15 Pro is now at C Spire. Made with titanium and featuring the most advanced iPhone camera system yet. Get it on us with trade-in. C Spire. Customer inspired. Requires purchase of 36-month device payment plan and eligible wireless service plan. See cspire.com for details. Mae Jameson became the first African-American woman to travel into space when she served as a mission specialist aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor in 1992. 
A Moment in Black History brought to you by WPRL 91.7 FM. Welcome back to the Whitney Arena. The Jackson Community Engagement Center is led by Dr. Victor Sutton. The organization focuses on putting research into action in the community and scoring better health outcomes for Mississippi and beyond. Visit their website, jacksonheartstudy.org. Jackson Community Engagement Center, changing the future of African American health. Don't forget the Nate Kilburn and Landon Bussey programs coming up on Wednesday night. Braves storyline, the Braves are going to be without DK Thorne tonight. Was told earlier, Thorne not available for tonight's game. And we'll see how that shapes up a little later. Grizzle on the attack, double. Subarat's left wing pass knocked away. With it is Delancey, 12 to shoot. Delancey fronted by Cheatham. No screen. Delancey right baseline spinning left. Now 18-footer Gilbert. Nope. Rebound Henderson. Henderson out ahead. Watkins. Watkins. Henderson knocked out of bounds. Well, the Lady Braves are really slowing down Grizzle in this second quarter. Grizzle with six points to start in the first two minutes. None since. 26 to shoot. 427 left in the second quarter. 22-14. Lady Braves on the inbound. Backus. Backus fronted by Grizzle. 23 to shoot. Backus going left. Had the top of the circle. They spread the floor. 18 to shoot. Watkins left wing. Destiny Brown trying to set the screen. They call it off. Destiny on the lob. Turn around for 15. It's good. Destiny Brown. Her second bucket. 10 point lead. 24-14 and a foul call. Backus on Super Rocks. 40 feet from the basket. I want that. Four to play in the second quarter. Lady Bay slowly adding their lead. They were down 11 to 10, so you do the math on the run. 14 to three. Spurred here for the Lady Braves. On the inbound. With it. As Grizzle knocked out of bounds. 22 to shoot. And he rattles basketball on the far side. Subarats fronted by Bacchus. 22 to shoot. Subarats, Grizzle, and now we got a foul called. It's going to be on Watkins. Oh, Cheatham. Cheatham with her second personal. Cheatham's like, what did I do, coach? Subarats, far sideline. And Zania White will check in for the Lady Braves with four points. Lady Braves in this game shooting 43%. Minus two on the boards. Five turnovers. The story is points off turnovers, though. Six-nothing Lady Braves off turnovers. For FAMU Delancey. Delancey, Grizzle, and she stepped on while well, she's called for a travel. She was on the baseline, cut off. Everybody's doing a nice job on Grizzle. Grizzle, three for six. Six points. Two steals here in the first half. 345 left. Here's a shiny back is on the attack. The up and under floater. Good. That is with the bucket. Boy, Lady Braves execute. 26-14. Three and a half left in the first half. Everybody's got to keep pushing. We know we've had these droughts. Don't want to talk it up. But it's just the brutal reality of what we've seen throughout the course of this season. Delancey left wing. Delancey doubled. Delancey cut off. Delancey pass deflected. Here it is. The Lady Braves. Watkins on the attack. The up and under. Her floater too strong. Destiny Brown kept it alive. Lost it. And for the new Grizzle. Double setting up on her. Grizzle on the skip pass. Watkins who collided with Delancey. Lady Braves with it. Destiny Brown. And the Labs and Nia White is good. Timeout. FAMU and the Lady Braves by 14. 28 to 14. Bridget Gordon will take a timeout here from the Whitney Arena. And is it a 30 or is it a four for 30 second timeout? So we'll keep it right here. Lady Braves by 14. Their defense has been their offense here in this first half. 
The 2024 Pimp C SWAC Men's and Women's Basketball Championships will be held at the Bartow Arena in downtown Birmingham Wednesday, March 13th through Saturday, March 16th. Tickets for the tournament will be on sale soon. Don't miss your chance to support the Braves and see some entertaining SWAC basketball. If you look at the men where we are right now in the standings at 7-5, and five, the three-game winning streak, I think, kind of helps solidify all corn standings. Although, if you look behind us, you look at Alabama State, team that beat us at 6-6, six and six, UAPD at 6-6, six and six, Alabama A&M at 6-6. Six and six. They have a three-way tie for seventh. Oh, hey, the way it could be going, you may be looking at 9-9. Nine and nine to get in the tournament, the top eight. I think for the women, it's gonna, it's gonna be probably about the same. If you got nine wins, you're pushing it 10, I think will get you there in the top eight. Lady Braves by 14, let's see if they can finish this quarter strong with 2.45 left in the second quarter. They and you spread to the floor. Hendricks, Hendricks, Subarats, right wing. Subarats trying to get it inside. Now, ball fake drive, floater no good by Hendricks. Ball back tap with it is Watkins as she cradles it. Two and a quarter left in this first half. 28-14, Lady Blazer defense has been their friend here in the first 20 minutes. Watkins fronted by Subarats, gets by Subarats. Watkins, her floater is up good, count it. Are they gonna count the bucket? They wave it off. Offensive foul on Watkins, they wave it off. 14 left, first on Watkins. Uh, maybe so. Maybe the defender was inside the circle. Couldn't quite see. They wave it off. A good aggressive move by Watkins. Grizzle doubled. Now pull up Hendricks. Good. Hendricks with her first bucket. Two to play in the second quarter, 28-16. Lady Blazer led by as many as 14. Nick Alfie gets it from over the top. Tajane Wright. McAlfia fronted by Grizzle. 16 to shoot. Tajane Wright. Oh, Wright could have pulled up there. Ford with it out top. 10 to shoot. Ford back to her. Lock a top block on weak side. A foul on Delancey. Her first. Olivia Delancey with her first personal. Destiny Brown set to check in. Is called back to the bench. She got a 12 point lead. And they save Destiny Brown. Doesn't have a foul. Five points. He's got a decent cushion. Watkins can extend this to 14 with a free throw, and she knocks the first one down. Lady Braves, four of six from the free throw line in this first half. They're up 13. They've led by as many as 14. Second free throw coming up for Watkins, and this one is good. Watkins with five. Lady Blaze back up 14. 135 left in the second. 30 to 16. Delancey right wing. They spread the floor. Skip pass intercepted. Is Kaylin Watkins on the attack. Lamb short. Follow. Zania White and she scores. White with eight. 16 point lead. 32 16. 115 left in the second quarter. Grizzle. Superlots double. You know, the extra pass and the layup is good. They handle the pressure of Delancey, her second field goal. She's averaging 15.7 a game, fourth best in the league in scoring. 14-point lead, a minute left in the second, 32-18. McAlphia, skip pass, Tajane Wright, hands it off to McAlphia. 18 to shoot. McAlphia, fronted by Grizzle. 13 to shoot. Tajane Wright, ball fake, step back three. Can she stay hot? No. Rebound, Ford, stick back, no. Delancey with the rebound with 35 seconds left. Delancey on the attack, and the pole took the bump, shot blocked out of bounds. It will remain Fanny's basketball. Nate Kilby says, where's the offensive foul? Henderson will check in. For Watkins, she is exhausted as she heads to the bench. 31.7 remaining, 24 to shoot. Nate Kilby was like, really? I mean, just the, the look at the official is like, you gotta be kidding me. Family's basketball on the lob. Intercepted Zania White. 
gets by Gilbert. She'll lay it up and scores. Denai White a double figure. She said she was ready to go, and she's showing it. She's got 10. 20 seconds left, 16-point lead, 34 to 18. Subarats right wing, fronted by McAlphia. Subarats inside, 10 to shoot. Subarats off the curve to Lancey, a floater. No, rebound four, she fouled by Hendricks. With 4.1 remaining, about as good of a first half as you can have for the Lady Braves. They're up by 16. Remember, we led this team by four with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. FAMU went on a 10-2 run, including a couple of threes that broke our backs. Ford at the line with four seconds left in the first. Ford in conference just two of four from the line. First free throw is up. Whoa, way off. Wide right out of bounds. That's the third miss. Bree Ford will get another. She is five of eight. Second free throw coming up. And this one is no good. Loose ball, Henderson had it, she put it up. No, Ford with it, no. Couple of cracks at it to end the first half. Lady Braves with a 16 point lead at home over FAMU 34 to 18. Great first half for the Lady Braves. Up 16 at the break. A win for the Lady Braves. They can have the tiebreaker on FAMU if it comes down to it. Lady Braves 4-8, FAMU 6-6. Six six. Lady Braves in this first half up 34 to 18. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back in two minutes. This is Lady Braves basketball. School sports, it's easy to see the wins, the moments that make headlines. But there's so much work that goes unseen for any of it to happen. My name is Phil Risen, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Throughout the country, athletic administrators dedicate countless hours to making life-changing opportunities possible for student-athletes through sports. Their sacrifice is fueled by the belief that every student can grow and deserves their time to shine. On behalf of the NIAAA, we want to thank every athletic administrator for your tireless dedication to providing 7.8 million students across the country a path to a better future. This message presented by the NIAAA, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Do my friends and other students find their voice? We find our voice through the performing arts, along with millions of other high school students. By expressing yourself in a role on stage, through an instrument, or at the debate podium, the performing arts give us freedom to find ourselves, to find our place. The stage is where I can play, perform, and compete with my friends. Performing arts in your school is where creativity meets courage. Encourage the students in your life to find their voice through the performing arts. This message presented by the NFHS, where we encourage all students to play, perform, and compete together. Located on the Mississippi River in Natchez, Magnolia Bluffs Casino Hotel offers slots, table games, and the best in luxury suites. Contact them today to book your staycation or vacation. Visit them at magnoliabluffscasino.com. Glad you can join us here in the Whitney Arena. The Braves are 34. To 18. Shooting well. We'll take a break here. Two minute timeout. We'll be right back. This is all Corn Braves basketball.
want it bad enough. That should have been an easy win. What were you doing out there? You gotta hustle. You could have made that play if you'd been open. I'm a call at home after the game. And you think you're helping by telling me what I did wrong and what I need to work on. All I hear is that I'm not good enough, that I'm supposed to be perfect, that it's not okay to lose. I'm a car at home. All I need to hear is how much you love me and enjoy watching me play. That my worth isn't determined by my performance. That even on my worst day, I am worthy. That you see me learning, growing, and doing my best. And that is enough. This message presented by the MHSAA and the Mississippi Athletic Administrators Association. A moment in black history. Kamala Harris is the first female vice president and the highest ranking female official in U.S. history, as well as the first African American and the first Asian American vice president. She is also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. A moment in black history brought to you by WPRL. 91.7 FM. It's a time of tremendous uncertainty for everyone, but some things haven't changed. Stomach cancer is still a leading cause of cancer death worldwide. More than one million people will be diagnosed this year alone, and it's vital to know your risks and learn ways to prevent it. It's also critical for cancer patients to protect themselves from all viruses. No Stomach for Cancer encourages you to listen to medical experts to understand your risks. Find out more about COVID-19 at cancer.gov and learn more about your risks for stomach cancer at nostomachforcancer.org. And we welcome you back to the Davy Whitney Arena where the Lady Braves, I think, without a doubt, the best half of basketball of the season. We 34 to 18 at the break. Still another half to go. And Lady Braves can win this game. They'll put themselves in the thick of the top eight race. It'll be their fourth win in a row. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? That's a bold question, but it's got that irresistible taste to back it up. Well, one thing's for sure, when you got an irresistible, tasty match like zero sugar and zero calories, something sensational is bound to happen. It's too bad you can't taste with your ears because this Coke Zero Sugar tastes amazing. It's hard to put into words, and that's my job. You don't have to taste for yourself. Coke Zero Sugar, the best Coke ever. Glad you can join us for Braves basketball. Lady Braves doing some good things at the softball tournament, HBCU tournament in Columbus, Georgia. Um, lost to Howard in, in the last game, and Braves baseball, man, I tell you. The game lasted so long and so late. I was supposed to fly back to Houston last night to catch the late flight back to Jackson, but the game went over time, four and a half hour game, and I had to fly back today. But it was a terrific game in which the Braves led early, 10 to two. Brave, you tied it up, grabbed the lead, and it was back and forth. The Braves had a two-run lead, 14-12. Well, going into the ninth inning, the Panthers got a run to make it 14 to 13. The Braves trying to hang on and get their first win of the year. Next pitch is a shot in the left center field. It's a base hit. One run scores. The Panthers have won it. Well, Crazy has hurt our hearts right across the way. A walk-off field goal in football and scoring three in the ninth yesterday to beat the Braves 15 to 14. The Braves are at the San Antonio coming up this weekend, but definitely a tough loss for Braves baseball. I think this team is much improved. It's got to find a way to win. Got to throw strikes. The walks, the wild pitches, that hurt. And the defense as well. And the LOBs, just some of the fundamental things in baseball that we've got to be able to execute and get done. 
kept PB in it, and they rallied and won it. Crazy, by the way, won that classic, and uh, Travis Scott pledged to donate a quarter of a million dollars to the winner of that Cactus Jack classic, and that is crazy. As we look at the scoreboard, Alabama A&M over UAPB, 33 to 25 with two minutes left in the second. Preview with a 19 to 16 lead over Grambling Southern University. They're getting it done. 34, 21 over Texas Southern. And in the second quarter, Jackson State 12, the third Cookman 7. We'll take a two minute break right here. First half numbers coming up as the Lady Braves lead by 16, 34 to 18. We'll take a two minute timeout. We'll be right back from the Whitney Arena. This is Lady Braves Basketball. To make sure my future took off, I joined the Mississippi Army National Guard. With part-time service, I was able to get paid training as an aviation mechanic. I learned skills that helped me get started down the path to a great civilian career. And this is just one out of the hundreds of jobs the Mississippi Army National Guard can train you for. You can learn a trade and earn money for school, all while serving close to home and being there for your community. See what your future could look like by going to nationalguard.com slash ms. Sponsored by the Mississippi Army National Guard. Paired by the Mississippi Association of Broadcasters and this station. Federal guidelines have nearly doubled the number of Americans eligible for lung cancer screening. Insurance companies are required to cover these tests for those ages 50 to 80 who currently smoke or used to smoke. Along with new treatments, lung cancer screening saves lives. If you are 50 to 80 years old and smoke or used to smoke, talk to your doctor about lung cancer screening. For more information and to find a screening center near you, visit acr.org slash mylcs. That's acr.org slash mylcs. Hi, I'm Nicole, and I lost my 10-year-old daughter, Teresa, to COVID in just a few short days. Teresa was a healthy child who loved to dance. When Teresa got sick, I didn't think it was serious until she was rushed to the hospital. COVID and flu can be serious for anyone, but they're especially dangerous for communities of color. Please get your COVID and flu vaccines and stay up to date on all immunizations, because vaccines save lives. To learn how to protect your family, visit vaccinateyourfamily.org slash learn. Damage caused by tornadoes is devastating and traumatic. After these storms, dishonest contractors show up hoping to make a quick buck from your insurance claim. They'll promise anything if they can get you to sign a contract, collect your payment in advance, and ultimately do no work at all. Avoid being the victim of contractor fraud. Get estimates from at least three contractors. Check references and remember, if you didn't request it, reject it. Here at the Whitney Arena, let's update the scores. Many of them at halftime right now. Alabama A&M over UAPP, 37-25. Preview over Grambling at the break, 31-26. Halftime at Texas Southern. Southern over TSU, 36-22. Halftime at the Akadome Valley with a 10-point lead over Alabama State, 40-30. Time at the Williams Activity Center. I saw E.D. Ashley Robinson on the flight today. Jackson State with a 21-15 lead over the third Cookman. Let's look at the first half numbers, shall we? As the Braves are up 34 to 16. Braves in this first half, 12 of 26, 46%, five triples, five of 10 from the free throw line, plus four on the boards. Six turnovers, just one turnover in the second quarter, in which the Lady Blades won that quarter 16 to 6. So six turnovers, eight assists, and five steals. They are led in scoring by Zaniah White with 10 points, followed by Tajane Wright with nine, Destiny Brown, Kaylin Watkins with five apiece, Nia McAlphia with three, and Shani Backus with two. Florida a &M, 9 of 25, shooting 36%. No triples, no free throw attempts. The story, Ariana Brizzle leading the league in scoring. Six points, three turnovers, and two steals in the first half. So Brizzle leads FAMU with six, followed by Olivia Delancey with four. Field goals by Subarats, Hendricks, Sharp, and 
Sylvester. So that's the first half story. Lady Braves winning the points off turnover battle, 14 to two. Sandy with nine turnovers has led to 14 Lady Braves points. Lady Braves just four points in the paint. Seven nothing second chance points. Seven four bench points. Lady Braves by 16. We'll take a one minute break. Second half play by play coming your way. This is Lady Braves basketball. I got it. I got it too. Of course I got it. Do you get it? Still unsure about getting the COVID-19 vaccine? Get the facts. Sign up and get your vaccine today. And let's stop COVID in its tracks. It's on you. Learn about why other people like you got it and how you can get it at igotitms.com. This message is brought to you by the Jackson Heart Study Community Engagement Center. And the Mississippi SEAL Team. Black men are the most likely Americans to die from lung cancer, and black people develop the disease earlier in life than others. Federal guidelines have nearly doubled the number of black Americans eligible for lung cancer screening. Insurance companies are required to cover these tests for those ages 50 to 80 who smoke or used to smoke. If that's you, talk to a doctor about lung cancer screening. For more information and to find a screening center near you, visit acr.org slash mylcs. That's acr.org slash mylcs. All right, as we get you ready for the second half, we're looking at uh, the standings. Jackson, with six games left, Jackson State has a three-game lead over Grambling and UAPB. Grambling's losing, UAPB is losing, and Jackson's in a dog fight. If Jackson wins and Grambling and UAPB lose, Jackson State will have a four-game lead with five games left. I mean, theoretically, they could wrap up the regular season in the next week if the stars align the right way for Jackson State. But we're just trying to get in the top eight. Subarats left wing for the Lady Rattlers. Delancey out top, short right corner. Had Destiny Brown guarding her. Now Grizzle. The Subarats baseline floater, no. Destiny Brown with the rebound. Destiny Brown, Tajane Wright, Nia McAlphia. Nia Cheatham, Zaniah White. Zaniah White has come to play tonight. She told me before the game, I'm going to be ready. Just watch. Trust me, just watch. I'm going to be ready. And she has done that here. Tajane Wright, Destiny Brown right wing. Destiny with 10 to shoot. Hands it off. Zaniah White spreads the floor. Double drive in traffic. Lost the ball comes to McAlpha at 3 to shoot. She just puts it up. No, weak side Zaniah White had it knocked away. By Delancey. Delancey, two on four, going to the rack, layup, good. Delancey, coast to coast for a third bucket. 14 point lead, Lady Braves got to keep pushing. 34 20, Destiny Brown on the outlet, had it knocked away. And Tajane Wright with it. Skip past McAlphia. 16 to shoot. McAlphia walks the top of the circle. Fronted by Subarox. 10 to shoot. Minute and a half into this third quarter. Lady Braves with a 34-20 lead. Look out there. Dribbles right wing. Pull up for three. Too long. Hit the guy wire. And it'll be FAMU's basketball. 34-20. Lady Braves have yet to score here in the first minute 35 of this third quarter. Subarats, Grizzle, above the free throw line, Grizzle on the attack, now right side Gilbert, on the handoff Subarats, going left of a screen, 10 to shoot, Delancey left wing, 7 to shoot, Delancey, baseline pull up, no, and over the back, Subarats I believe, Subarats, yes, Personal. Two o three into this third quarter. Lady Braves at the break led thirty four to eighteen. Have yet to score here in this first two and change. Tajane Wright. McAlphia. McAlphia fronted by Grizzle. Tajane Wright walks it up. 
25 to shoot, 7.50 left in the third. Kajane right out top, Destiny Brown right wing. Brown fronted by Sharp. Kajane right, will steal extra pass. Here's a three in the corner, that's good! Nikalpia, her second triple. Making the extra pass, that's six triples by the Lady Braves. 37-20 in the third quarter. Sugarox left wing, Sugarox inside, Grizzle. Grizzle left side, Gilbert. Subarats on the dump in. With it is Sharp, her floater is good. Sharp, her second bucket. 37, 22, the lead is 15, pass knocked away. Here's Subarats on the attack, her layup is good. Subarats, her second field goal. 13 point lead. Everybody's gotta handle this pressure. Nick Althea, lob to Cheatham. Cheatham's pass thrown right to Gilbert, I think they're gonna get a timeout here if they score. Gilbert dribbles right wing. On the bounce pass to Lancey, her three is up. No, McAlfee on the weak side rebound. McAlfee will slow it up. Three and a half minutes into this third quarter. And the Braves have more turnovers than points here in this quarter, I believe. Top of the circle, Zania White. White back door, McAlfee of the extra pass, Cheatham, Tajanae Wright, nice ball fake, pull up from 17, it's good. Tajanae Wright with 11, she was the first one out here shooting, as she always is. Shot falling for it here tonight. Lady Braves up 15, making the extra pass. 39-24, 20 to shoot. Gilbert left wing to Lansing, 14 to shoot. Subarats on the handoff, top of the circle, right wing. Behind the back dribble, in the paint, the up and under, the floater is short. With it, Tajane right. Right to McAlphia. And Lake Kilmer telling me McAlphia, slow down. Five and a half left in the third quarter, 39-24, Lady Braves. Destiny Brown got to get her going here in this half. Tajane right. Brought it by Delancey. Destiny Brown from 17. It's good. <laughs> Destiny Brown with seven. Lead is 17. It is the biggest lead of the game. Lady Braves led by 16 in the first half, up by 17 now. Biggest lead of the game. 17 to shoot. Grizzle. Well, the free throw line. Grizzle with 10 to shoot. Grizzle on the kick out. Sharp, all nice duck in Subarats, her layup is good. Subarats, her third field goal. Subarats makes it a 41-26 game. With 447 left in the third. Everybody's handling the pressure. And with it is Tajane Wright. Now slow it up here. Subarats, running McAlphia, 10 to shoot. And then McAlphia. Tajane Wright, Wright will attack, Wright, nice look inside, he's knocked away. Gilbert on the outlet, Subarats, Subarats on the attack, her layup is good. Subarats with eight, and the lead is 13. Subarats with eight third quarter points, 41-28. Timeout by Nate Kilbert, we got a media coming here. Four to play in this third quarter, the lead is 13. McAlphia off the brown screen. McAlphia in the paint. McAlphia cut off. Now here's the Nile White floater. No, and Destiny Brown fouled. Sharp, I believe, with the foul. So we have a timeout on the floor. Yep, Sharp with her second. Timeout. 3.48 left in the third. 41-28. Lady Braves will take a timeout. We'll be right back after this. My son Aiden has asthma. Secondhand smoke has triggered his asthma so badly, he ended up in the emergency room and spent multiple nights in intensive care. Now he's on a whole bunch of medications. My tip to you is, don't be shy about telling people not to smoke around your kids. Half of U.S. kids are exposed to secondhand smoke. If you or someone you know wants help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and CDC. 
The Mississippi Department of Mental Health reminds you to contact 988 at the first sign of mental distress. There's just so much pressure. 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 So much pressure. I feel like I'm in a fog. I feel like I'm in a fog. I feel like I'm in a fog. Get help early. 988 is anonymous, and trained counselors can connect you to local help that can meet your needs. Call or text 988 or chat online at 988lifeline.org. This ad is brought to you by the Mississippi Department of Mental Health, the Mississippi Association of Broadcasters, and the station. Welcome back to the Whitney Arena. Adidas is the official outfitter of the Alcorn Braves. Gear up on the newest Alcorn Adidas gear at alcornsportsgear.com or visit the University Bookstore located in the main concourse with plenty of vending options. 3.48 left in the third quarter here from the Whitney Arena. Lady Braves lead 41 to 30, uh, 41 to 28, 13 point lead. FAMU's outscored the Lady Braves by three in this third quarter. Destiny Brown at the line. She has seven points, her second free throw tip. FAMU has yet to get to the free throw line in this game. Lady Braves plus five, now plus six there. Destiny Brown makes it a 42-28 game. Now on the attack, well, that's just floater, no good. And McGalpy on the outlet, Zaniah White. Zaniah White's pass intercepted. Intercepted by Hendricks. He first got to cut down on the turnovers. That's the 11th turnover in the game. With the double, split the double. Now the outlet, Hendricks. And the clock, we've got a clock issue. And they'll talk about it here. Well, the Lady Braves are winning the three-point line, plus 18 from the three-point line. They have six threes. FAMU hasn't made a three, so that's plus 18 and plus six from the free-throw line. So plus 24 on those two categories. They're going to take a look at it here and try to get the time straight. So while they do that, we'll take a break here. With three and a half left in the third quarter, 42-28, Lady Braves. We'll be back in one minute. This is Lady Blaze Basketball. Where do my friends and other students find their voice? We find our voice through the performing arts, along with millions of other high school students. By expressing yourself in a role on stage, through an instrument, or at the debate podium, the performing arts give us freedom to find ourselves, to find our place. The stage is where I can play, perform, and compete with my friends. Performing arts in your school is where creativity meets courage. Encourage the students in your life to find their voice through the performing arts. This message presented by the NFHS, where we encourage all students to play, perform, and compete together. So we talk about how this Monday night always some interesting scores and upsets. Jackson State by four over Bethune Cookman, 21 to 17, with 8:15 left in the third. Valley winning at Bama State, 43 to 39, with 7:09 left in the third. Southern winning at Texas Southern, 41 to 26, with 6:05 left in the third quarter. Preview beating Gramlin, 31-29, with 7:48 left in the third, and A&M beating UAPB, 41 to 32. I would say, in my opinion, right now, these are some weird scores coming across the line here on this Monday, for sure. But Don Cookman, I mean, they were struggling to score here. Low-scoring game in Jackson. You know, Monday nights are always tough. You know, I've talked to every coach in this league. Monday nights, whether you're at home or on the road, whether you've won on Saturday night or lost on Saturday night, Monday nights are always a challenge. If you won on the road on Saturday, you feel like you've accomplished your mission, and then you take your foot off the gas. When you lose on Saturday, 
you may be still thinking about Saturday and the Monday as they say you don't want to loss to beat you twice. Sometimes that does happen. And this year, what we've seen on the men's side especially, the road teams flat out are getting it done. The Blazers have lost three games. The men have lost three games here. All right, so it's 3.32 left. 14-point lead, 32-28. Sylvester right wing, fronted by McAlphia. 15 to shoot. Sylvester off the screen. Underneath, underneath. All right, Latoy, 10 to shoot. Sylvester on the skip pass to Lancey. Oh, that's Bostic who's in the lineup. On the block, a layup there with one to shoot. Count the bucket for Hendricks. Count it. Foul on Zania White are first. So Hendricks with her first bucket of the game. Well, as well as the Lady Braves have played, they have led by as many as 18, and right now it's a 12-point game. With 3.05 left in the third, and we've seen the Lady Braves have these quarters in which it's been a struggle. Right now, I'm not saying we're there. Yep, I may be there at the turnover. We may be in that situation right now with that turnover. A bad pass by Destiny Brown behind Kiara Henderson. Couldn't save it. FAMU could make it a 10 or a 9-point game here with a 3. 25 to shoot, 250 left in the third. 42-30, Lady Braves. Sylvester top of the circle. Fronted by McAlphia. Sylvester. On the dump in inside, and Hendricks was fouled. Zania White, her second. Zania White, Cheatham with two. 20 to shoot. 240 left in the third. Grizzle, just six points, averaging 21 a game. Grizzle. To get to the Hendricks. Hendricks in the pay her floater high out the window. No. And we got a foul call. I think it's going to be on Sylvester trying to get that loose ball. Or is it on Watkins? Yes, it is on Sylvester. The push. Sylvester with a second. New clock. Two and a half left in the third. Lady plays with the basketball. Caleb Watkins, far side for the Lady Braves. She'll attack. Watkins, Destiny Brown, layup is good. The finger roll by Destiny Brown. She has 10. Zania White, Destiny Brown with 10. Tajane White with 11. Three in double figures. Lady Braves by 14. 44-30 with 20 to shoot on this possession. Grizzle, fronted by Henderson. Grizzle picks up her dribble. Grizzle, Hendricks, Hendricks left wing. Out top, Grizzle, seven to shoot. Grizzle with five to shoot. Grizzle off the screen, three to shoot. Grizzle, jump stop, layup, missed everything. Shot clock violation. Good job. Well, after the good start by Grizzle in the first quarter, she has been silent. Let's see here, Grizzle, three of seven from the floor. The Lancey will check in for Latori. 155 left in the third quarter. Henderson gets it to McAlphia. Fronted by Sylvester. 29 to shoot. 14 point lead. Lady Blaze will led by as many as 18. McAlphia, top of the circle. Looking for Destiny Brown to set the screen. She does. Goes left of it. McAlphia on the attack. Kick out Zanaya White. Zanaya on the baseline. Oh, it is. We have a blocking foul and Zanaya White is shaken up. She's going to be helped up. Unless she's okay. The foul on Sylvester. Her third. That was a pretty tough collision. Zanaya White shaken up. Well, she did get the worst of that. A noticeable limp. She walks away from the free throw line. 137 left in the third. And it looks like Cheatham will check in. Destiny Brown's got some blood below her knee, her left knee, and got to get that cleaned up or she's going to have to come out. A couple of free throws coming up here. 
for Zaniah White. Wesley Brown gets bandaged up. First free throw is good. Zaniah White, Blake Bray's doing a nice job from the line. Seven of 10. Zaniah White will have another. Now they're gonna put a wrap around Destiny Brown's knee who just bands this up. And the second free throw coming up. 137 left in the third quarter. All corn by 15. Now fam, you had an opportunity to cut it to 10 or nine. Lady Braves have pushed the lead back up to 15 with 137 left in the second quarter. Well, there's some blood. Uh, oh, there's some blood right at mid court that has to be cleaned up. Well, some cleanup duties here. The Jackson Community Engagement Center is led by Dr. Victor Sutton. The organization focuses on putting research into action in the community and scoring better health outcomes for Mississippi and beyond. Visit their website at jacksonheartstudy.org. Jackson Community Engagement Center, changing the future of African American health. Denai White at the free throw line. With 137 left in the third quarter. Free throw is good. Denia White with 12. 137 remaining. Denia White will have a seat. Kia Cheatham will check in. 137 left in the third. 46 30. Lady Braves. Sylvester on the outlet. Sits to Hendricks. Picks up the dribble. Sylvester. Sylvester far side. Split the double. Skip pass Hendricks. Now Grizzle right wing, Grizzle on the attack. Short left corner cut off. Now here's a three, Delancey rattles out. Rebound, Destiny Brown. Minute 13 left. McAlphia gets it to Brown, holds it. Gets it to McAlphia. 105 left, 22 to shoot. 46-30, Lady Braves. McAlphia gets it into Henderson. Destiny Brown on the wing. I see that back door. Let's see if Lady Braves can get that here with 10 to shoot. Henderson, Destiny Brown right wing with five to shoot. Destiny fouled. And it's gonna be on Hendricks, her second. Couple of free throws coming up for Destiny Brown. 47.7 remaining in this second, in this third quarter. Two free throws coming up for Brown. First is up and it's good. Destiny Brown with 11. She is three for three from the line. At the last media timeout, Destiny Brown for just four rebounds. So she's got one half of the double-double. And she hits the second. Destiny Brown, four for four from the free throw line. She's got 12. Lady Blaze match her biggest lead, 18. Here's Grizzle. In traffic, Grizzle, Sylvester, Grizzle out top. Grizzle, Sylvester right wing, 17 to shoot. She'll spread the floor. Sylvester gets a screen from Hendricks. Sylvester going left on the kick out to Lancey. Out top, Sylvester, the up and under. Foul! Deal with the hat. Uh, I like to look at that one again. I think Nick Alfie squared up right there. Just got her hands up. Nonetheless, Sylvester at the line for the Lady Rattlers. First is up, no good. That is the first free throw attempt for FAMU in this game, and it comes with 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Second attempt coming up here for Sylvester. Lady Braves winning the three-point line and the free throw line, and the second is good. Lady Braves can play for the final shot with 24 seconds left in the third. And a 17-point lead, 48-31. And FAMU scored 44 against Jackson Saturday. They only have 31 points here. Here on the long outlet over the head of Watkins. And there they go, right off of Wizzle. Watkins with a great save. 
and threw it off a grizzle out of bounds. The Lady Braves will get it. With 23.2 remaining, that's got to be the play of the game. Watkins with great speed and great awareness. Threw it off of Grizzle. Well, now we're going to talk about it here. Um, they'll probably put a little more time on the clock here. 23. 23-9. 23-2. Yeah, 22-9. I said 23-9. 22-9. Lady Braves will get it. They can play for the final shot. Nick Alpia, fronted by Grizzle. Nick Alpia, almost at mid-court. Rob the Brown, Nick Alpia with it. Nick Alpia, Kalen Watkins with six to shoot. Nick Alpia on the attack. No look inside, and a layup, no. Followed by Anderson, no. Brown with the follow, yes, at the buzzer. Destiny Brown closes out the third quarter and giving the Lady Braves the biggest lead, 19. Brown with 14. And Destiny Brown with a great third quarter. Destiny Brown with five at halftime, nine in the third, 14 for the game. The Lady Braves with a 19-point lead, 50 to 31. Through three. We'll take a timeout here, fourth quarter coming up. This is Lady Braves basketball. In school sports, it's easy to see the wins, the moments that make headlines. But there's so much work that goes unseen for any of it to happen. My name is Phil Risen, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. fourth quarter. 50 to 31. Lady Braves looking for their third win in a row. In a position to climb inside the top eight. There's a back door in the Cheatham. Haven't called the back door much. I think they've had it open, but they just haven't been able to execute it. Well, that time it was there. 50 to 31. We're underway here in this fourth quarter. AMU coming in six and six. Lady Braves four and eight. And Lady Braves would have the tiebreaker on FAMU. No, 70-66, a four-point FAMU win in Tallahassee is a step back grizzle. Good. That's the best look she's had in the second half. Grizzle with eight. Lead is 17, 50 to 33. Lady Braves got to handle the pressure because you know FAMU's going to try to maximize it. Henderson gets it to McAlphia Henderson in the corner. Cheatham, nice ball fake, pull up from 13 feet, good. Cheatham in the scoring column, good response. 52-33, a minute into the fourth quarter. Grizzle right wing, curling left. Grizzle, Sylvester trying to dump it inside and it's behind Hendricks, she recovers. She'll pull a block by Brown, she got it back, floater, no. A back tap, McAlphia with it. McAlphia, a call for steps. Rattlers basketball, Sharp will check in for FAMU. Minute seven into the fourth. Sharp won't get the lob. Nope, I thought Sharp might get it. Gilbert, Grizzle left wing. Grizzle fronted by Watkins, Grizzle. Now on the curl, Bostic. Bostic cut off, Grizzle left wing, and she's fouled by Watkins with 15 to shoot. Watkins with her second. Well, this is one of the rare games that we've seen in conference in which not one Lady Brave is in serious foul trouble. Cheatham, McAlphia, Watkins, Denia White, just two personals. They've done a nice job. And for Florida A&M, you look at the free throws, Lady Brace 10 of 16 for the Rattlers, one of three. 
So we're winning all the key measurables in the basketball game. Free throw line, three point line, and the number one on the scoreboard, winning 52 to 33. So Vestra off the screen goes left, five to shoot. So Vestra off another screen goes right. Getting it in, Sasha blocked Destiny Brown out of bounds. They kill claiming it's a shot clock violation. They're gonna talk it over. Yep. Got it right. Lady Braves basketball. Grambling over Preview, 35-34, 3.43 left in the third. Southern now by seven at Texas Southern. That's our next road trip, TSU and PVU. We go to PVU first in the last road trip of the regular season. McAlfield behind the back dribble, front by Sylvester. 8.07 left in the fourth, 52-33, Lady Braves. Cheatham left wing. Cheatham curling right, top of the circle. Cheatham, right wing, McAlfield for three, it's good! Alfia with a triple. Alcorn with seven triples in this game. Lead 55 to 33. Grizzle, short right corner. Florida good. Got the short right corner. Grizzle with 10. She's averaging 21 a game. She's got half her average. 55-35. Don't want to let her get. You don't want to let Grizzle get cooking. Lady Braves by 20. 7.25 left. Destiny Brown, backdoor Cheatham, the curl, the Florida, no. And on the rebound, Bostic. Bostic, well, I can stay in with Bostic. Now she's guarding Sylvester. She'll attack, getting it inside. The floater too strong by Sharp. New possession, Bostic, goes up the three. Nope, rebound, Cheatham. Cheatham, outlet Henderson. They killed us, they slow it down, but Henderson on the attack, the up and under, and throw it away. Kilbert was trying to make Kilbert was trying to slow her down. And she was trying to say, hold it, hold it. But Watkins was on the far side of the floor, didn't see him. So now White will check in. 6.52 left. 55-35, the lead is 20. Hey, we in no hurry, we got the lead. And then Nate Kilbert say, hey, we're not in any hurry. You got a 20-point lead. You can walk the ball up the floor, right, use right. clock. Grizzle going left. He'll pull up. Too long. Through the hands of McAlfie. Uh, three taps and Sam is sharp with it. His Grizzle for three. Short. She got a miss back. Three opportunities here. Grizzle's puts the double team. Grizzle to Sharp. Now Grizzle with the step back. Good. Grizzle with a third field goal in this half. She's got 12. The Lady Braves up by 18. McAlphia on the outlet, Destiny Brown. McAlphia fronted by Grizzle. 6.07 left. 55-37, Lady Braves. Cheatham right wing. Cheatham curls to the top. Five to shoot. McAlfie a step back three. Good! McAlfie, four triple for McAlfie. Lady Braves with eight threes in this game, and they lead 58 to 37. Grizzle double on the attack. Sylvester had it knocked away, but she got it back and got it to Grizzle. 16 to shoot. Grizzle going left. Grizzle out top. Short block. Way up. Missed it all. And the rebound, FAMU Sharp. Sharp the inside shot blocked. Bostic had it blocked. With 17 to shoot and a foul call. Bostic with her first. Lady Braves with the basketball. 5.24 left. 58.37. Lady Braves are 5.24 away from their third win in a row as a shoddy Bacchus for the Lady Braves. Bacchus fronted by Sylvester. Tajanae Wright fronted by Grizzle. Cheatham fronted by Gilbert. Destiny Brown fronted by Hendricks. Tajanae Wright and got a foul called with 5.04 remaining. A hold. And it's gonna be a 
Sparkplex, her second. Well, Sylvester with three, Sharp, Latori, Bostic, Hendricks with two personals apiece. 5.04, the halfway point of this fourth. Lady Braves with a 21 point lead, and Jackson rolls in here on Saturday at one o'clock. Jackson having a time at home against Bethune Cookman. Lady Braves with the basketball as a pass deflected right to Tajane Wright. Nice, no look, Destiny Brown, a layup is good. Took the ball. Brown with 16. 60 to 37, Lady Braves. Grizzle on the attack. Back pedals as she's running. Grizzle, double. Grizzle, Bostic. Bostic fronted by Cheatham. Bostic looking inside. Grizzle left wing, 10 to shoot. Grizzle. Left wing, baseline cut, Bostic tickles the baseline, and there's a three, Sylvester, yeah, the two to shoot. Sylvester, she's got six. 60 to 40, 420 left in the fourth. Backus top of the circle, fronted by Grizzle. Backus, Backus, Tajane right, no back door here. Tajane, Destiny Brown, 13 to shoot. Lady Braves using clock, which is good, and we got a foul call. We got a hold inside. We got a timeout coming up as well. A hold on FAMU. It will be on Hendricks, her third. Timeout. 60 to 40. Lady Braves, 406 left. We'll be back after this. Timeout. In school sports, it's easy to see the wins, the moments that make headlines. But there's so much work that goes unseen for any of it to happen. My name is Phil Risen, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Throughout the country, athletic administrators dedicate countless hours to making life-changing opportunities possible for student-athletes through sports. Their sacrifice is fueled by the belief that every student can grow and deserves their time to shine. On behalf of the NIAAA, we want to thank every athletic administrator for your tireless dedication to providing 7.8 million students across the country a path to a better future. This message presented by the NIAAA, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. to 40. Lady Braves on their way to their third straight win. The win will be five and eight. We'll see what Preview and Bethune Cookman are doing. Lady Braves have the tiebreaker on Bethune Cookman based on points. Got to go to Preview on our next road game. So the Lady Braves definitely are in position to make the top eight. Johnny back is the lineup with Kieran Henderson, Destiny Brown, Tajane Wright. Here's Destiny Brown. Putting it up, no, follow up, no. And we got a foul called. And it's gonna be on Grizzle, her second. Lady Bray shooting 52%, FAMU 38%. Lady Bray's plus 21 from the three-point line, plus nine from the free throw line, plus 30 in those two categories, and plus 10 on the boards. You win the three-point line, free throw line, and the boards, you're in good shape. Tajane right, left wing, the floor to shoot. Tajane, the up and under, the pull up, good! Tajane right with 13. 62 to 40 with 3.20 left. Grizzle on the attack, took the ball, played away, no. Foul on the Lady Braves, and I White for third. Free throws coming up for Grizzle, her first trip to the line. Grizzle 77% in conference games. First is up, good. 
A Grizzle with 13. I think we did a nice job in that second quarter slowing her down, kind of taking her off her spot. Buck out, buck out. And she's got get cooking a little bit here down the stretch. Second free throw by Grizzle is good. Lady Braves with a 62-42 lead. With 3.10 left in the fourth. Tajane right, top of the circle. Destiny Brown right wing. Destiny Brown fronted by Hendricks. Tajane right, left wing. Destiny Brown top of the circle with 10 to shoot. Destiny Brown, duck in, Tajane right up floor. No, all the flex is on Iowa White. No, ball back, Captain Iowa White with it. Shiny back, and she'll jack up a three. No. Nate Kilbert wanted her to pull her out and use clock. Grizzle on the attack. Three-pointer, so Bester, nope. And shot down by Zaniah White. Zaniah White will trot it up for the Lady Braves with two and a quarter left here in the fourth. Nene A.K. Polor will check in at the next whistle. 13 to shoot. Lady Bray spreads the floor. Zaniah White. Janae Anderson set the check in. Zaniah White going to the rack, and she's fouled by Bostic, her third. But Gold Cookman leads Jackson State with 4.14 left in the third quarter, 24-23. Man, that's a weird score to say the least. Bama State's making a run here at Valley, 46-43 in the third. Southern leads Texas Southern by seven. Free throws coming up for Zaniah White. She's four for four. First free throw is up and it's good. Zaniah White with 13. Destiny Brown with 16, 13 for White and Tajane Wright. 63 to 42, Lady Braves. Second free throw. And it's good. Zania White with 14. Lady Braves hitting their free throws. They're doing everything right here tonight. 64 42. Grizzle taking the bump. And gets it out to Bostic. We got a clock issue here. I'll talk it over and try to establish a, a time. 206 left. Pine Bluff and Alabama AM 58-51. With three minutes left in the fourth. Grambling leads at Prairie View by 11. That is a helpful score. And Prairie View would go to five and eight. They lose. 6-14 left at Prairie View. So last couple of games, teams we needed to lose ahead of us have, and we've taken care of our own business. Six to shoot, here's Grizzle off the screen. Short right block, Grizzle, Sylvester, her pull up with two to shoot, good. Sylvester with a third field goal, she has eight. 64-44 with one and a quarter left. Ashanti Backus, Zania White, Arena A.K. Polo in the lineup. Kiera Henderson, Janae Anderson in the lineup. It's been a few games since Janae Anderson has seen some action. Janae, top of the circle, going left. The step back for Janae Anderson off the mark. Rebound Sylvester with 107 remaining. Sylvester. In the paint, got the corner layup, good. Sylvester with 10. 64 to 44, with 50 seconds left. For the Lady Braves. And then Shawnee Backus. Backus, Henderson. Henderson above the free throw line. And AK Polo on the attack, her layup, no. And the rebound, of course. 
With 28 seconds left, Latoya to Grizzle. Grizzle right wing. Grizzle took the bump. Florida, good. Count the bucket for Grizzle. And Grizzle with 16, 10 in the second half. With 22.6 remaining, Janae Anderson with the foul. And the Braves, 64-46. Men's game coming up. Free throws up, and it's good. Grizzle with 17, 11 in the second half, 64 to 47. Final seconds. Zadaya White told to keep it. Get it across, and they have you. I don't think they're going to foul. Zadaya White will just dribble out the remaining of the time. And the Lady Braves have won their third in a row, and they have a real good shot to make the top eight. And the Lady Braves, with the win, go to five and eight. Three in a row at home. Three in a row at overall, two straight. Lady Braves, three in a row overall, winning at Valley last Monday. But then Cookman, they and you, three at home. Now Jackson State coming in here, bring on those Tigers of JSU and undefeated. And Jackson State in a battle. With eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, Jackson State winning by six, 39-33. We'll take a timeout here. Lady Braves gets it done, 64 to 49 over between Cookman on Saturday. On tonight, Lady Braves with a big win, 64-49. We'll take a break here, two-minute timeout. We shall return. This is Braves basketball. my friends and other students find their voice? We find our voice through the performing arts, along with millions of other high school students. By expressing yourself in a role on stage, through an instrument, or at the debate podium, the performing arts give us freedom to find ourselves, to find our place. The stage is where I can play, perform, and compete with my friends. Performing arts in your school is where creativity meets courage. Encourage the students in your life to find their voice through the performing arts. This message presented by the NFHS. Where we encourage all students to play, perform, and compete together. Hi, this is Jay Miles, Major Director and Assistant to the Operations Manager, and so much more here at WPRL and Manny 147 FM. And I personally would like to ask all of my old coin family to tune in each and every day for our daily programming. And thank you to all those who are already listening. WPRL brings you the best in daily programming like gospel, old school, RB, hip hop, the blues, and so much more. We have student radio shows hosted and produced by students of the Mass Communication Department. WPRL brings you the best in local and national programming like the world. All things considered, New Urban Jazz with Bob Bowen. Master Your Money with Air 4 by Junior. Extension this week, hosted by Manola Irby for a specialist for Alcorn State University. And that award-winning radio show, The Marketing with Miles Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Elizabeth B. Miles. WPRL is home for all corn sports like football, baseball, softball, and so much more. And hosted and produced by Charles Divorce of the Brains Edmonds, Jim Mario Shelburne's Brooks, Myrtle Brown, Sugar Sugar Baby Hedrick, yours truly, and my big brother Wendell the Bones Man Hurry. So what are you waiting on? Tune in today. Hey, give us a call at 601 877 601-877-6595. Request line 601-877-6594. Or you can email me at Jay Mouse at allcorn.edu. And from my family to yours, from Charles, from Myrtle, to Mario, and yours truly, we say to you, God bless, and we are looking forward to hearing from you. Just a trim. I usually use a number two. Welcome back to the Whitney Arena with the Lady Braves being their third in a row, 64 to 49. Lady Braves played well. 
Lady Bray shot 44%, 22 of 58 triples, 12 of 18 from the free throw line, plus 13 on the boards, 33-20, 14 turnovers, 16 assists, and five steals. Four players in double figures, four of the five starters. Destiny Brown with 16, 14 for Zania White, Tajanae Wright with 13, Nia McAlphia with 12, followed by Watkins with five points for the Lady Braves, a couple by Cheatham and Kaylin Watkins. Florida AM, 22 of 53, 41%, one triple, four of six from the free throw line, 20 boards, 11 turnovers, 11 assists, and six steals. We held the conference's leading scorer, Grizzle. She had 21, averaging 21. She had six at the break, finished with 17 points for Florida AM. And off the bench, Sylvester with 10. So with the win, Lady Braves are five and eight. Tied with Prairie View's winning right now. Prairie View is, let's see, looking at the scoreboard. Prairie View and Gramley. So the Panthers are losing by 11 at last report. So if the Panthers lose that game, they'll be five and eight. The Bill Cookman in a dog fight with Jackson State. And if the Wildcats lose that game, they'll be five and eight. So the Lady Braves, I think, are right back in the thick of it. Lady Braves one game behind FAMU, who's tied with Alabama A&M for fifth place. So the Lady Braves moving on up. Let's we'll see if they can keep it going as they play Jackson State here on Saturday. We'll hear from Nate Kilbert coming up at the half. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. We will get you started with the men's action. We'll hear from Landon Fussy. Pitch hitting for him is assistant coach Adam Schwartz. He'll join us coming up on the pregame. Lady Braves win. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is Lady Braves basketball. Staying active and healthy as we age starts with strong bones. To keep your bones strong, you need calcium, vitamin D, and regular exercise. A bone density test called DEXA helps detect low bone mass and bone disease called osteoporosis. If you're 65 or older, Medicare provides free bone density tests every two years. Ask your doctor to schedule yours. For more information on how to be bone strong, visit pathtogoodbonehealth.org. I will welcome you back to the Whitney Arena. Quick turnaround as we get ready for the men. Wins over Valley and Pine Bluff on the road. Big win over Bethune Cookman. And the Braves have won six of eight. The Braves right now are seven and five in a tie with Bethune Cookman, Jackson State, and Texas Southern for third place. Southern 10 and 2, Grambling 9 and 3. The Braves are moving on up. Can they keep it going? We'll find out. I'm Charles Eppner. Glad you can join us as the Braves take on Florida AM and Spear, who's a really good scorer. And this uh, this Rattler team has definitely struggled. Florida AM, 2 and 10. Another trap game, perhaps. Let's hope that's not the case. As Adam Schwartz will join us, Braves assistant coach, we'll talk about. The big win over Bethune, what we can expect here from FAMU. We'll take a time out here. We'll be right back in 60 seconds. This is Braves Basketball. Thank you, thank you for your support down through the years and look forward to seeing you back in 2024. And if you haven't been to the old country store, what are you waiting on, my friend? You are missing out on some down-home good cooking like Grandmama used to do back in the day. The old country store is home of that famous fried chicken. Mm -mm. Good. The Old Country Store is open daily 10 to 4 for dine-in or carry-out. They are located on Highway 61 in Norman, Mississippi. Look for the marquee sign with Mr. D holding that famous fried chicken, and you will definitely know you are in the right place. And while you're there, please put your request in for that grandmama's soul. That's the Old Country Store, a proud underwriter of WPRL 91.7 FM.
And we welcome you back to the Davey Whitney Arena on this Monday night. Glad you can join us for all Corn Braves basketball. The men are trying to go for their fourth win in a row. Valley, Pine Bluff, the other night, the Bill Cookman, 69 to 54, and Florida a and here tonight. The Rattlers have struggled, a struggle for them to get to the top eight, and that's what makes it even more dangerous, the fact that Florida a and is not playing well right now, and the Braves, especially on the defensive side, playing lights out. Braves going for their fourth win in a row, trying to move up in the standings. Texas Southern lost the other night and Texas Southern hosts Southern University. So an opportunity again for the Braves to help themselves in the standings. Charles Edmund here courtside, men's game coming up, pinch hitting for Landon Bussey on this Monday as assistant coach Adam Schwartz. Coach, we appreciate you coming on. Not a problem, glad to fill in and uh, glad to be here with you. Well, you, you, it's, a, it, it's a different look now. When you won three in a row, that does uh, add a, a smile to your face and you can kind of exhale, or can you exhale a little bit? Really not. Um, you know, the, the, the SWAC has proven to be just so tough every night. Um, you know, every night is a, is a barn burner and a, and a knock them out, drag them out fight. <laughs> and, um, you know, he, you know, even the, the teams near the bottom and, and we've been there this year too. And, and, um, you know, every, every game presents its own challenges and, you know, and, and just hoping our guys are ready to go and, and take care of business. Well, you bring up a really good point. This is your kind of first four-way foray in looking at the SWAC. Second go-round for these teams. Um, after today, we got Jackson State here Saturday. Then we go to Texas, and then we host UAPB and Valley here. So five games left, six mm -hmm. if you include this game. What do you think about the SWAC? Just the, the scoring defensively, the the great individual e uh, efforts of teams and players. What do you think about the SWAC? You know, it's interesting because there's 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 very good players in the SWAC. You know, um, you know the we just played one Zion Harmon and, and Jacob Hetty at, at Thune are, are both very talented players and, and guys that are probably capable at at playing at the higher levels. Um, you know, Zion Harmon, you know, originally was supposed to go to the higher levels and. You know, and, and P.J. Henry at Texas Southern and got a kid coming in here tonight, Spear, who's who's a really good player and can really fill it up. And, um, you know, so so just the talent, um, really physical. You know, I, I've been impressed with, and maybe impressed isn't the right word, but but just the, the physicality of our league. Um, it, it's very physical. Um, there's a lot of good defensive teams that, that play strong physical and 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 really get up in you defensively um you know which which i kind of expected but until you really see it you know it, it's you really don't have a you know it's kind of like comparing it to like the nba like everybody says how physical the nba is and until you really get close up into it and, yeah. and really around those guys really just how much they hold and they grab and push and hit each other and and even though they're scoring you know 130 points a night and and just how physical they are um so once you, once you get into the league, it's, you know, coach is always telling us how physical it is, but then when you really see it, it's like, man, it is really physical. Um, you know, but even, too, just the offense, you know, there, there's been, you know, as, as you see some games in the 50s and 60s, and then you really see some teams explode and, and get up there and they can really put the ball in the basket. So, um, you know, it's, it's been a good experience and a great experience and, and just, you know, as, as from the outside in and as many people – you know, maybe kind of knock our league on the outside looking in, and maybe they need to come in and watch. You know, being a JUCO guy, a lot of people knock JUCO, and until you really come and see, you know, a lot of the better junior colleges play and how talented they are, um, you really don't, you know, kind of know until you really come and see it. And, and um, you know, and I would probably say the same thing about the SWAT. It's up close and personal, and you don't know until you see it for yourself. For sure, for sure. So let's look at this Braves team. Well, one of the things that's changed defensively, you look at the last three games, 56, 55, and 54 points. I'm going to do the math here. 111 plus 54, 165 divided yeah. by three. That's 55 right on the nose. Now, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I, my, my <laughs> father, I rest his soul, was a math teacher. You know, this is about as high a level of, of math as I know. I can add that. I'm, I'm right there with you. When it comes right to geometry, intrigue, and angle, side, angle. No, sir. Uh, right. No, I'm, sir. I'm with you. No, sir. No, sir. And I told my father, no, sir. <laughs> but he said, yes, sir. So I had to do what he had to, yep, <laughs> he had to do yep. what he had to, what he said. But defensively, um, getting better. What's What's been the difference in, in your mind these last three games defensively? Number one, I think our guys have, have finally kind of 
figured it out, um, you know, and, and they're really the way we guard um, and, and some of our rotations and things like that with so many new guys. Um, and we've had the injury bug a little bit, too, and some guys in and out of the lineup. And, and I think we finally got to the point where we're healthy. We have a, a, a rotation that's kind of solidified itself in the most part. Um, and we're doing a good job. And guys, I think, are starting to put, in math terms, two and two together. And, and, and um, it does add up to be four. And it does add up to be four. <laughs> and, and we're starting to kind of kind of guard and, 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 and do stuff, you know. And, and uh, Mike Poggio has been a big part of that. He's been in the starting line at the last couple games and, and had a big role. And um, he's kind of one we've been kind of, you know, waiting for to step up into that role and, and be kind of that, that guy and, and play all over the floor and fly around and, and hit the floor. And he's given us a big boost. And, um, you know, and, and Byron and Joshua and, you know, DK and, and Jeremiah Gambrell have all gotten, you know, better and, and started to, to to kind of understand what it is we're trying to do. And, and it's kind of just finally starting to, to pay off and, and look right. <laughs> yeah, as, as a basketball fan myself, I love offense. Yeah. But, but yeah. I grew up watching the old bad boys Pistons defensively sure. where they can hold you to 70 points For sure. a game. You know, Coach Busty said at the beginning of the season, he felt like this team, when it's locked in, he said 57 or less. And these last three games, he's been right on the button. So that's, yeah. that, that's yeah. been, I mean, that's, I mean, last year was 60. He For said sure. 60 or less last year. He said 57 and I almost fell out of the seat. I mean, that's asking a whole heck of a lot, but, but we're seeing that now. It, it is. Um, you know, you wouldn't be the only one to think that, um, you know, and, and, and it's, rare in today's game because it is it's it's the rules are so geared towards offense even at the college level um you know and, and then just kids are so talented and, and they're so skilled offensively where they can um you know i always say kids are really good today at, at making tough shots because they they emulate it and they work on those you know on those shots they they watch steph curry they watch james harden they watch you know kobe videos and 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 they watch michael jordan and they're they're so good at making tough shots that it's it's really hard to hold teams to, to 60 points and 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 you know hold teams to under you know 40 percent field goal shooting which is is kind of also one of our our goals um every night um it's a really you know make it hard for teams to score and, and that's really hard and uh it's kind of an old school mentality in a sense and and you know coach does a really good job of of you know of, of kind of instilling those old school kind of habits that that toughness that physicality and and really focusing and locking in on the defensive end. And, you know, it's taking a little longer to kind of come to fruition, but it, it's starting to get there. So not there yet. Still got some work to do, but uh, it's it's starting to get there. What's what's the one thing that we have to do to get closer to getting there? Just more consistent, you know, and, and putting together a, a whole 40 minutes. I don't think we've had one of those all year. Um, Brave you? Would you say the Prairie View game? No, because I would even say in the second half, Prairie View made a good run and, and cut it, you know, cut it. I, if I remember, they cut, I think they cut it to single digits late in the game. Yeah. And so it's just not that complete 40 minutes and, and really being able to, you know, keep our foot on the gas and keep it moving and, and, and putting teams away um, and completely dominating them like we want to. Coach Bussey always talks about being dominant, the, the, the domination of you. You had talked about Peugeot. Uh, on the defensive end, and he's a pest. There's, there's no question about that. He is absolutely. And so on the offensive end, though, what I saw the other night, it really surprising. Well, not surprising, but he's a pretty good passer. He had a couple. He had a no look. I mean, he he gets the ball in the right spots. These guys. He is, and and Mike, as as I love Mike, and as as stubborn of a young man as he is, you know, he's, <laughs> he'll never tell you, you know, but but Mike really loves to play, and and he really loves to get better. Um, and even just watching film on him, you know, when I first got hired here and going back and watching highlights and, and game film from the last couple of years, just how far he's come as a player is is impressive, and it's a it's a testament to... Well, he was a walk-on. He, he was, was a walk-on, and yeah. it's now on scholarship, and, um, you know, now he's a starter, you know, and, and we've, we've had talks with him all year long about, you know, Mike having to grow up even more, and, and you know, you went from a walk-on to a scholarship guy to... You know, you were playing walk-on minutes, to, which, you know, in reality is not very many, if any. Um, you know, to playing a little bit and having a big part in some big games last year as a, as a player um, to now, you know, your focus has to be at a whole nother level now that you're playing, you know, starter minutes, even whether you're starting or not, you're, you're playing big minutes for us. You know, you're not playing that 5 to 10, 10 to 15 minute a roll. You know, we need you to play that 20 to 30 minute a game. 
and just how much more focus you need. And, and he's, he's done a good job of responding the last couple weeks. Well, hopefully we can get that done tonight. So let's talk about Florida and them. Uh, not a good night in Jackson the other night, but this team gave us all we can handle. Uh, we went to Daytona, had a big lead, and they started knocking down some threes. We won 76 to 67. I felt like we were in control of the game for the most part. But FAMU, pesky, they just would not go away. So what, 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 do you get, what do we have to worry about here as the Rattlers roll in? You know, number one, I think you said it in, in the intro, is just a little bit of a trap game for us. You know, we've, we've played well, and, and obviously Bethune was, was a big game for us and one we knew we needed. Um, you know, in the last road trip, UAPB was, was a big game for us and, and even taking care of Valley. And, and we had our moments against Valley, too, where, where it looked like we weren't very ready to play. Um, you know, so so trying to come out here locked in and focused from the start is, is a big deal. Got it. We've been trying to focus with our guys all, all year is getting off to good starts. Um, we haven't done that consistently. We've had a, a game or two where where we'll we'll start off like gangbusters and and really get after it in the first five minutes. But you know, so really focusing on the first five minutes um, and then the next five minutes after that and and trying to dominate them early if we can and and hopefully they're a team that. You know what they do? They have a lot of scores. Um, they have some length. They have some athleticism when they take uh, the big fella out. Um, you know, they, they have some long athletic guys that kind of cause us some problems. And they, they hit the offensive glass and and they'll keep some they'll keep some loose balls alive. And, you know, so they're a tough challenge. They have some guys that shoot the ball well. And, and um, so we got to be on our P's and Q's defensively and 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 rotate and rotate hard and run those guys off the line. And hopefully we'll be all right. Well, you know, it was good to get a win at home the other night. We have, for sure. We've lost three games at home, something that's uh, highly unusual for everyone over the last couple of years. You know, what you know, Coach Bussey believes, you know, getting you guys, assistants and other folks involved in the focus mechanism of it, because he feels like that's probably been uh, the, the issue, the fo lack of focus. You know, what's been the difference the last week in trying to regain that focus here at home? Because we, we end the season at home. We got mm -hmm. Jackson at home. We end the season at home. Yeah, we have a big stretch coming up at home with tonight and, and then Saturday and then the, the final weekend. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. You know, it's just kind of one of those things. If it's something where, you know, obviously if we knew what it was, we, we'd all be a lot richer than we were. <laughs> um, you know, so it's just a matter of trying to figure out, you know, and and why we're so good on the road because we've been real pretty good on the road and and obviously the preparation is different you're in a hotel and you don't have all the we're not going to class and there's we don't have our friends around and um necessarily so much and, and things like that so there's a little difference at home um but just trying to change it up a little bit maybe get guys a little more rest um you know just just try to emulate since since whatever we're doing on the road has worked um for the most part trying to kind of emulate that a little bit more at home um, you know, in terms of the time schedule and, and things like that. And, and then just trying to focus on, you know, guys, whatever, you know, just harping on whatever they're doing, you know, whatever you're doing has to be a little bit different or, you know, or else we'd probably play a little better at home. So. All right, that's Adam Schwartz joining us here, pitching for Landon Bussey as we welcome you back to the Whitney Arena. The Braves lineup has been introduced, Mike Peugeot from New Orleans. Followed by Jalen Hawkins. Hawkins getting the start. But Joe doing a real nice job of earning a starting spot. Jalen Hawkins, the grad student from the Bronx, New York, followed by Jeremiah Gamble, grad student from Houston. Jeremiah Kendall. Jeremiah Kendall, the senior from the Bronx. Byron Joshua, the senior from New Orleans. For the Rattlers, Hans Luis Ng, the senior. Getting the start, Keith Lamar, the 6'5 senior from Stockbridge, Georgia. Followed by KJ Parker, the freshman from Lakeland, Florida. Shannon Grant, the 6'10, 300 pound senior from Salacaga, Alabama. And Rounding out the lineup, Jalen Spear, the senior. BMU in the orange, the Braves in the white. And we got an over and back by Spear. The Braves defensively, you know what they've done the last three games, giving up 56, 55, 
and 54 points, respectively. Braves will get it far sideline. Kendall to Joshua. You hear Landon Bussey talking to execute. Joshua. Kendall. Hawkins curling right. Campbell. Campbell fronted by Jordan Chapman. Now Pajot. Skip past Joshua. Joshua's pull up is good. Tough shot. Joshua gives the Braves an early lead. FAMU with the basketball. A.K. Parker. Started by Campbell. Braves without D.K. Thorne here tonight. He is dressed and on the bench, but he is not in action. Lamar on the duck in reverse layup. Missed by Spear. And on the outlet, Peugeot. Peugeot, Kendall, he had it knocked away. And with it is Lamar. And with the second possession, Lamar top of the circle, a high low inside, and it went right through the hands of the big color Grant. And we got a foul call. Jackman with his first. Minute 11 in. Kendall. Bounce pass. Joshua. Grays with a 2 0 lead. Spear fronting Joshua. Kendall left wing. Kendall on the handoff. Jalen Hawkins. Left wing Joshua. Now Jeremiah Kendall is pull up. It's good. Here's the Braves a 4 0 lead. He at the start. Jalen Spear. Crosses half court. Picked up by Joshua. Spear. Two-man game, Spear, Parker, Spear, double. Now at the top of the circle, Lamar. Lamar doubled. Lamar on the skip pass. Here's a pull-up three. No good by Parker. And Jalen Hawkins for the Braves. Out the Kendall. He's it home. Kendall gives the Braves a 6 nothing start here in the first 2-10. 6-0, the Braves with the lead. Spear. Spear on the handoff, Chapman, top of the circle, Parker. Parker right wing, 6 nothing. all corn with the lead. Spear out top. Spear, no look, driving Chapman. This shot blocked by Pajol. And with it inside, and the layup is good. By Grant. Shannon Grant makes it 6-2. to two. Landon Bussey loved that block. Braves couldn't get their hands on the ball. 6-2. First bucket for the Rattlers. Jeremiah Kendall. Fronted by Shannon Grant. Now Jalen Hawkins on the duck in. Kendall. Kendall going right, right block. His floater is up. No. Rebound Lamar. Lamar to Spear. Spear gets it to the trailer. Lamar going to the rack. His layup. No. Ball back tap. And Joshua with it. Braves four on three. Joshua had it knocked away. And Joshua got it back. Joshua, Kendall, here is Gamble for three. And he got it. Gamble puts the Braves up nine to two in the first three and a half minutes. Nine two. Spear. Spear had it knocked away. Loose ball. Tapping. 9-2, the Braves with the lead. Spear on the attack. Had it knocked away. Hawkins, long outlet Gambo. He'll lay it up and in. 11-2. Gambo puts all corn up 11-2. Here in the first four minutes of this first half. 11-2. Parker top of the circle. Parker, right wing Spear. Spear, J.K. Parker. Lamar out top, lob inside, and the layup good by Grant. Grant with all four, both buckets for FAMU. I think Landon Bussey will take that. Four and a half minutes in, 11 to four, the Braves with the lead. Joshua lob into Kendall, layup is good. Grant can't handle Kendall. He's got six. 
13 to four. There's a steal, Joshua Gambro for three, and he's got it. Out to a 16 to 4 start here in the first four and change of this first half. 15 to 4, Alcorn is blitzed out to a 11 point lead. Timeout. Head coach Robert McCullum in his seventh year, Birmingham Southern 1976 graduate. We'll take a break here, 11 point lead. We'll be back in one minute. This is Braves Basketball. In school sports, it's easy to see the wins, the moments that make headlines. But there's so much work that goes unseen for any of it to happen. My name is Phil Risen, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Throughout the country, athletic administrators dedicate countless hours to making life-changing opportunities possible for student-athletes through sports. Their sacrifice is fueled by the belief that every student can grow and deserves their time to shine. On behalf of the NIAAA, we want to thank every athletic administrator for your tireless dedication to providing 7.8 million students across the country a path to a better future. This message presented by the NIAAA, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. to four. Braves with the lead off to a torrid start. Seven of eight shooting. BMU two of six. Braves are looking for that 40 minute game. So far, so good in the first five minutes of this first half. Keith Lamar will inbound the basketball. Lamar. J.K. Parker. Parker fronted by Gamble. Parker has knocked away. Here is Pajot with the stop. Pajot, his first bucket, 17 to four. Well, the, now the outlet, Lamar. On a skip pass. He's cut off on the baseline, Parker. Parker out top. The ball comes in the air. Lamar with it. Ten to shoot. Lamar step back three. Rattles out. Kendall with the rebound. Kendall to Joshua. Joshua. Hawkins step back three. No. Rebound Lamar. Lamar now with Luis. Three on four. Luis getting it inside. And the layup is good. Getting it inside. The layup is good for FAMU's Matthew Webster. Matthew Webster, the redshirt freshman from Dade City. 11 point lead, six minutes in. Joshua top of the circle. Joshua Kendall on the dump in. Kendall on the curl, Hawkins layup is good. Hawkins, his first bucket. Five different players have scored here. I think all five of the starters have scored. 19 to six. Now well, here's a Luis three in the corner. No good. And we got a foul call over the back. Lamar with his first. James Wyatt will check in. Braves with a 13 point lead. Joshua will have a seat. 19 to six here in the first half. The lead is 13. Peugeot gains Wyatt. Getting it up the floor quickly. Gains Wyatt top of the circle. Fronted by Spear. Gains Wyatt, Hawkins left wing. Jeremiah Kendall on the dump in. Three dribbles, jump stop, jump hook. That's good. Kendall with eight. 21 to six. Seven minutes in, the lead is 15. 15 point lead. Luis. Right wing, Sinkovich will check in as well as Willie Anderson for the Braves at the next whistle. Spear on the attack. 
Pull up for Spear, no. Rebound Peugeot, Gaines Wyatt for the Braves. Gaines Wyatt on the attack, Gaines Wyatt flush shot blocked out of bounds by Lamar. Bayar will check in Sinkovic and Willie Anderson in, as well as Joshua. We'll check in for Gamble, Hawkins, Kendall, and Pajot. 22 to shoot. 21 points in the first seven minutes and 20 seconds of this game. And we set the clock to 22. Joshua, baseline right. Joshua on the column tank by our right wing red, Joshua. Red, red. Spread the floor, 15 to shoot. And there he has a three, no good. Second is the follow, no. Rebound Chapman. Chapman the spear. Spear, his pull up is good. Spear transition, his first bucket. 21-8, 13-point lead. Joshua top of the circle. Spear plays off of Joshua. Two-man game with Anderson. 16 to shoot. Willie Anderson will pull up a three. No. Rebound Chapman. Chapman to Spear. 21-8. to eight. Now here's Chapman for a three. Nope. Another one and done. And here's Joshua, he's got numbers on the outlet, Gaines Wyatt, no look Anderson, he fumbled it out of bounds. Timeout on the floor, 11.40 left in the first half. 21-8, 13-point lead. Braves with the advantage. We'll take a timeout here, update the women's scores when we come back. This is Braves basketball. just didn't want it bad enough. That should have been an easy win. What were you doing out there? You got to hustle. You could have made that play if you'd been open. I'm going to home after the game. And you think you're helping by telling me what I did wrong and what I need to work on. All I hear is that I'm not good enough, that I'm supposed to be perfect, that it's not okay to lose. I'm going to home all I need to hear is how much you love me and enjoy watching me play. That my worth isn't determined by my performance. That even on my worst day, I am worthy. That you see me learning, growing, and doing my best. And that is enough. This message presented by the NHSAA and the Mississippi Athletic Administrators Association. Looking at the scores on the women's side, Alabama AM over UAPB 67 to 59. Grambling wins over PVE 64 55. Southern over Texas Southern 68 to 52. Valley beats Alabama State 67 59. And Jackson State 52 39 over Bethune Cookman. Like I said, weird things happen on Monday night. I think you can safely say that's a weird score. For sure. FAMU with the basketball. Webster. Spear double. Spear. Spear on the skip path. Webster. Way up. Got it. Ruiz with the bucket. 11 point lead. 21 to 10. And the Braves got off to a great start. And now they, can they continue to move upward? Joshua in traffic. Joshua, Bayard with the pull up. Off the mark. Marie with the rebound and he's gonna attack. Marie up and under, floater, good. He's got four. And the lead is nine. 21-12 with 10-40 left. Jeremiah Gamble set the check in. Kendall and Benet in. And Wyatt right wing. Wyatt, no look Joshua, 13 to shoot. Joshua, the second of the screen, goes right. Joshua, 
Sankovich, and it's stripped, and Anderson called for steps. They use basketball. The lead is nine, so after the torrid start by the Braves, this is kind of what Coach was talking about in the pregame. I mean, we start off fine, and then we cool off a little bit. I think we're in that moment right now. As Chapman will inbound. Chapman, Parker, fronted by Joshua. And we got a clock issue. We approach the halfway point of the first half. So Jackson State, 13-0 as they come in here. Grambling, 10-3. UAPB, 9-4. Southern, 9-4. Texas Southern with the loss there, four and nine. So the Lady Braves ahead of Texas Southern in the standings. Bama State, they won tonight. Here's a pass and intercepted Joshua who lay it up and in. Joshua, second field goal. 23 to 12, halfway through this first half. J.K. Parker, fronted by Joshua. Parker's short left wing. Top of the circle, Chapman. Chapman, Parker left side. 12 to shoot. Parker off the screen. Parker dumps it inside. Thrown away with seven to shoot. 9.42 left in the half. For the Lady Braves, five and eight, tied with Bethune, Cookman, and Prairie View at five and eight. So you got a three-way tie for seventh place, and the Lady Braves are right there. With Bill Cookman, Preview, Alcorn, five and eight, Texas Southern, four and nine, Bama State, four and nine. The one game behind FAMU. Gamble right wing. Gamble skip past Joshua. 15 to shoot. Alcorn by 11, 23-12. Joshua, refunding him. Kendall sets the screen. Joshua, oh, pass thrown away as Benet was cutting. Race turned it over. 9-16 left in the first half. Substitution. Shannon Grant will check in for FAMU. Grant will check in for Matthew Webster, the 6'7 redshirt freshman from Dade City, Florida. Enjoyed my time down in Tallahassee and Daytona. We got a foul call, Joshua riding Parker. That's the first foul on the Braves. Going to three team fouls total in this half in the first 10 and a half minutes. Chapman inbound, Chapman to Parker. Parker fronted by Joshua. Parker left wing, Parker Chapman, Lee dumps it inside, oh, leaning in, the upper under layup is good, boy, fighting inside is Shannon Grant. Well, Shannon Grant wasn't as much of a factor in that first meeting, he has made his presence felt here in the first half. Lead is nine, 23-14 with 840 left in the half. Gamble white wing. Byron sets the screen. Gamble for three, and it's good. And well with the triple. He is 11 first half points, and the Braves by 12. Well, it's been Kendall and Gamble here in this first half. Grant again. Grant double running at him, an open shooter. Here's a three, good. Three pointer. Shram, Morel Shram in the lineup. Shram, the junior from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Makes it a nine point game, 26 to 17. 20 to shoot, eight to play in the first half. Joshua fronted by Parker. Off the screen, goes left. Kendall pops out, has the top of the circle. Fronted by Parker. Byard, Byard jab, step, drive, going left. Fade away, tough shot, good. Byard, tough shot. Byard, his first bucket. 
Braves with an 11-point lead, 28-17. Parker, right wing Chapman. We off the curl, Shram. Shram, Parker, shot blocked by Joshua. Gamble with it. Four on two, Gamble for three. No. Kendall tried to keep it alive right to Benet. Had it stripped, got it back. Lost it again, falling out of bounds. And the Braves turn it over. Timeout. 7-12 left in the first half. 28-17, Alcorn. It's where we talk resilience, where our fear becomes confidence. It's where we learn to get back up after every fall. School sports are where 7.8 million students go from I can't to I can. This message presented by the NHSAA and the Mississippi Athletic Administrators Association. Adidas is the official outfitter of the Alcorn Braves. Gear up on the newest Alcorn Adidas gear at alcornsportsgear.com or visit the University Bookstore located on the main concourse. Braves by 11, 28-17, shooting 61%, plus four on the boards. Florida a with six turnovers. Braves plus seven points off turnovers, plus seven fast break points. 11 point lead. Braves have led by as many as 15 in this half. Jalen Spear, who has a field goal here, picked up three quarters court by Joshua. Spear with Shram setting the screen. Lee top of the circle. Lee off the curl looking for Spear. He gets it back to Spear. Ten to shoot, Spear, pull up on the elbow, he's fouled, Joshua hacked him. And Byron Joshua with the hack, I think that's his second. Yep, Joshua with two. He'll have a seat. James Wyatt will check in for him. Spear at the line. First free throw is up, good. Spear with three. Jalen Spear, 66% from the free throw line. It's a 10-point game. Spear second is coming up. And this one rattles in and out and back in for Spear. Spear makes it a 28-19 game with 6.46 left in the first half. Jalen Hawkins, Gamble Gaines, Wyatt, Bayard, and Kendall the lineup. Gaines, Wyatt. I.R. Kendall, I'm sorry, the Hawkins in the left corner. 10 to shoot. Gaines Wyatt, fronted by Louise. Off the screen, Gaines Wyatt, dribble drive, fouled. And the foul call. Grant with his first. Now the women's finals in. And again, Lady Grace climbing in the standings. Gaines Wyatt. Gamble, Gamble left wing off the by our screen, goes right, Gaines Wyatt with the left wing with 4-2 to shoot. Gaines Wyatt left wing, fronted by Spear, eight to shoot, Gaines Wyatt off the screen, Gaines Wyatt, Jeremiah Kendall, three to shoot, step back, it's good from 18. Kendall with the step back, he's got 10. Kendall and Gamble with 21 of the 30 points. 30 to 19 is passed thrown away intended for Shram. Braves with the basketball. Led by as many as 15. Lead is 11. 5.56 left here in the first half. James Wyatt. Jeremiah Gamble Hawkins. Left wing. Jalen Hawkins. By on the attack, by our floater up, no. I think Grant will commit the foul. Yep, the second. Grant with two. All right, at the line for the Braves. Braves by 11, led by as many as 15. 
Why are 69% in conference games? First is up and it's good. Second free throw coming up. Lead is 12. Second is up, and this is good. Bayard with four. 32-19, the lead is 13. 535 left in the half. Spear fronted by Gaines Wyatt. Spear right wing. Spear gets it inside, the floater's up no, and the foul called is Lamar fouled. Bayard with the his first. Free throws coming up for Lamar. Well, the game's set to get underway. Our game's ahead of everybody on the inside. Lamar at the line, we're shooting 70%. First free throw is up and it's good. Well, FAMU's kind of found their rhythm a little bit. After the Braves raced out to a 15 point lead. Lead is 12. Second free throw is up, and that is good. Lamar with a couple of free throws. The lead is 11, 32-21, 5-18 left in the half. Gaines wide off the by our screen. Get past Hawkins. Hawkins top of the circle. Gaines wide with 17 to shoot. By our on the screen. Gaines wide in the corner. Gamble for three, and he's got it again. Ambrell with 14 for triples, 35-21. Here's Schramm, gets it inside, and the layup no good, and a foul. Hawkins on the weak side. Foul on Kendall, his first. Well, Landon Bussy yelling for a stop right there as the Braves lead by 14. And Big Grant at the line. Shannon Grant, 52%. Grant has two personals. And 4.52 left in the first. First free throw by Grant, rattles home. Grant with seven to lead FAMU. Second free throw coming up for Grant. I mean, he's a load. 6'10", 300 pound senior from Salacaga, Alabama. Second is good. Grant with eight to lead the Rattlers. 4.50 left. The game clock is running a couple of seconds as well. Mm. 35-23, the lead is 12. Gambrel, near side, Gaines Wyatt. Gaines Wyatt going left. Gaines Wyatt, his fire is pull up. It's good. Fire with six. Lead is 14, 37-23. Lamar, left wing Parker, looking for Grant. Luis, right wing. Lamar, Grant, fronted by Kendall. Grant double, Spear, 4-3. Got it. Jalen Spear with seven. It's an 11-point game, 37-26. Jalen Hawkins step back three, no. Kendall kept it alive. Grant with it. Grant on the outlet, Spear. Spear lost it, got it back. Spear off the Grant, Spear, uh, off the Grant screen. Now here's a three, Lamar, nope. Rebound, Kendall. Kendall to Gamble. Jeremiah Gamble to the trailer, Kendall. Kendall fouled. Lamar said, what did I do? Got a timeout. Lamar with his second. Timeout on the floor, 3.48 left. 37-26, well, raised by 11. Take a timeout here, early men's scores, we'll pass them along. And the women's finals as well, trying to deal with these women's standings on the fly. Lady Braves right back in the chase for the top eight. We'll take a break here, we'll be right back. This is Braves basketball. Just a trim. I used to lose a number two. Oh, I'm thinking of one. Twenty. One twenty. Over eighty. That is not the number I need. Oh, if I'm on your blood pressure numbers, you don't know if you're at risk of a heart attack, 
hypertension. The only hypertension I'm getting is when I get my hair cut. I'm going to check you on this right here. Okay, I'll jack them. What's the good number? Oh, I wish you could pay it. The Jackson Heart Study. The future of health starts here. Visit jacksonheartstudy.org. Man, I loved playing high school sports growing up. And it's fun being a fan now, don't get me wrong, but sitting in the stands feels like I'm missing out on all the action, you know? I wanted to get back in the game, so I signed up to be a high school official. It takes me back to my playing days. I'm supporting students, and I get paid to make the big calls. Do you want to see the game up close? Sign up to become an official in Mississippi at highschoolofficials.com. Forty-eight left in the first half. Lady Braves with the victory on a three-way tie for seventh place with Bethune Cookman, who we have the tiebreaker on, and Prairie View. And we go to Prairie View on our next road trip, our next road game. The Texas Swing, we start at Prairie View. So the Lady Braves, the tiebreaker over FAMU, Bethune Cookman. So everything's right there in front of him. Big win. Kendall. Second free throw coming up. Landon Bussey pleading with his team to get a stop. Well, Landon Bussey's talked about getting three stops in a row. And that's something he's kind of preached. Second free throw rattles in and out and back in. 12. 13 point lead. Kendall with 12. Campbell with 14. 26 of the 39 by those two. Let's see if the Braves can get a stop here. Louis getting it inside. That double kicks it out. Here's a three. No good. And Kendall with it. Well, there's a stop. And Wyatt. Triple to the left wing. 23 to shoot. Willie Anderson. Pajot. Try to back down. Pajot. Anderson fouled. And it's going to be on Shannon Grant. Well, we talked about Pajot as a passer. Anderson at the line for the Braves. So Willie Anderson Jr. This is his fifth free throw attempt in conference. First free throw by Anderson, no good. Second free throw coming up. That's the first miss for the Braves. FAMU six for six from the line. They're shooting 47% of the Rattlers, the Braves 64%. Anderson second is good. Willie Anderson one for two. Braves by 14, 40 to 26. 315 left in the first half. Louis left wing, top of the circle, Spear. Spear fronted by Benet, who was in the lineup. J.K. Parker, deep right wing. Spear out top. Spear on the attack. No look, Louis driving baseline. He's fouled. And it's on Jeremiah Kendall. Kendall with two. Joshua with two. And Landon Bussey has a decision to make here. And he's going to bring in Gambrel. With three, with 2.58 left. Byar will check in. First free throw by Louise. Good. He's got five. 13 point lead. Sinkovich will check in. He's got to check in at the scores table first. 258 left. Sinkovich will check in for Benet. Second free throw coming up. Lead is 13. Three second is on the way, and that's good. I mean, FAMU hanging around. I mean, the blade, the Braves blitzed them early, but FAMU's kind of hanging around. The lead is 12 with 2.50 left in the first half, 40 to 28. Gaines Wyatt, left wing, Peugeot, dump in, Bayard, shot up, no. Second base with the follow, no. Third opportunity, had it stripped, and it fouled. And Landon Bussey shakes his head. Lamar with his third. Oh, I thought calling on Spear, 50. 
his first. Sinkovich at the line for the Braves. For Alex Sinkovich, his third free throw attempt, and he hits. Sinkovich battling in in the post. Second free throw, the lead is 13. And this one rattles out, Spear with the rebound. The lead is 13 with two and a half left in the first half. 41-28, Lee out top, off the curl looking for Spear. Spear fronted by Gaines Wyatt. Green set, Lee, Spear, steps into a three, nope. Long shot ball back, tap Spear with it. Spear stepped over by R, and now the pull up here, no good, by Webster. Now here's Gaines Wyatt. Gaines Wyatt being chased. Going to the left wing with two to play in the first half. The lead is 13. 41-28. Gaines Wyatt, top of the circle, Peugeot, looking for Sinkovich. Gets him, had it knocked away, where he's able to knock. We'll hear from Nate Kilbert coming up at the break. Lady Braves won three straight. Right now, just kind of doing the standings on the fly. The Lady Braves are at a tie with Bethune Cookman and PDU for seven. First free throw is good for Lamar. Jackson won at 13 and 0. Grambling 10 and 3. You got a tie for third. UAPB and Southern at 9 and 4. Alabama AM at 7 and 6. AMU 6 and 7. That's the sixth seed. All corn Bethune Cookman as well as PVU in a tie for seventh. So if the tournament started right now, the late Braves would be in Birmingham, but he still got five games left to play. Gaines Wyatt, left wing Gamble, top of the circle. Gaines Wyatt, right wing Hawkins. Hawkins, Gaines Wyatt, left wing, 14 to shoot. Pajot on the attack, pump fake, floater, no. Gamble got it back and he's fouled. And the foul called on Lamar, his foul third. Free <laughs> throws coming up for Jeremiah Gamble. First trip to the line, shooting 87% from the free throw line in conference games. First is up, and it's no good. Second free throw coming. 53 seconds left. The lead is 13, 43 to 30. Gamble's second is on the way. And this one is no good. Rebound Parker. Well, the Braves have missed three free throws in this half. Aren't they on the attack? Float her up. No, while back tap. And with the lead lost, he was fouled. I think Hawkins just reached in and got a piece of him. Jalen Hawkins with his first. 40 seconds left. Well, free throws coming up. Lead is 13. Well, we missed a few free throws. That could have helped us. Free throw is up, and it's good. AMU knocking them down. The Wii with seven points. The Rattlers are perfect. They're 10 for 10 from the free throw line. The lead is 12. Second free throw is up. That's good. They're 11 for 11. 43-32 with 35 seconds left, 26 to shoot. Gaines Wyatt left wing. Gaines Wyatt off the Peugeot screen. Nice dunk in. Byer blew the dunk. Ball deflected to Hawkins. Hawkins. Gaines Wyatt with 16 to shoot. He'll hold it. 13 to shoot. 13 to play, five to shoot. James Wyatt with three to shoot, got to put it up for three, air ball. And that'll do it for the half. Well, sorry, 4.3 left, that's the shot clock violation, 4.3 remaining. 
4.3 left. Chapman. Inbound the basketball, and Sam, you have to go coast to coast. Here's Spear. Spear, half court heave. Good. He hit it. Half court heave. He knocked it down. Score the bucket. They'll look at it, but he got it. Spear from half court. He's got 10, and the lead is 8. They'll take a look at it. Well, they fronted him. Put a double and left, launched it from half court. He knocked it down. That'll make the highlight reel. And as well as the Braves have played, they will go into the locker room if this counts with an eight point lead. I mean, the way the Braves have played at times, they could be up 20. They're taking a look at it. The bucket is good. It's been confirmed. Spears, half court heave, makes it an eight point game. 43, 35 at the break. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll hear from Lady Braves head coach Nate Kilbert on his way. Lady Braves with a huge win earlier this evening over the Lady Rattlers, sweeping the season, of, well, at least splitting the season series. And the Lady Braves right now are in a three-way tie for seventh place. We'll take a two-minute break. We'll be right back. 43-35, all corn. Two minute timeout. This is Braves Basketball. A moment in black history. Kamala Harris is the first female vice president and the highest ranking female official in U.S. history, as well as the first African American and the first Asian American vice president. She is also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. A moment in black history brought to you by WPRL 91.7 FM. Man, I loved playing high school sports growing up. And it's fun being a fan now, don't get me wrong, but sitting in the stands feels like I'm missing out on all the action, you know? I wanted to get back in the game, so I signed up to be a high school official. It takes me back to my playing days. I'm supporting students, and I get paid to make the big calls. Do you want to see the game up close? Sign up to become an official in Mississippi at HighSchoolOfficials.com. This message is underwritten by the Old Country Store. Mr. D and his wonderful staff would like to take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your support down through the years and look forward to seeing you back in 2024. And if you haven't been to the Old Country Store, what are you waiting on, my friend? You are missing out on some down-home good cooking like Grandmama used to do back in the day. The Old Country Store is home of that famous fried chicken. Mm, mm, good. The Old Country Store is open daily 10 to 4 for dine-in or carry-out. They are located on Highway 61 in Norman, Mississippi. Look for the marquee sign with Mr. D holding that famous fried chicken and you will definitely know you are in the right place. And while you're there, please put your request in for that grandmama's soul. That's the Old Country Store, a proud underwriter of WPRL 91.7 FM. In case you missed it, they confirmed the half-court shot by Spear is good after further review. So it's an eight-point game at the break. 43-35. Braves at the break, second half coming up. Lady Braves win again. Boy, that sounds good, doesn't it? Lady Braves win again. The third in a row, 64-49. to Charles Deppin here courtside. Lady Braves head coach Nate Kilbert. Coach, congratulations, and we want to welcome you to seventh place, because that's where we are right now. Three-way tie for seventh place. It's good to say that, and it's good to get this win a third in a row. Congratulations. Yeah, appreciate it, Charles. Uh, you know, our kids play well. I mean, I, we shot the ball well. I think that was what, what was key tonight. You know, if we shoot like this, uh, I mean, we're going to be a hard team to beat. I mean, you know, you don't, you, don't, you don't often shoot the ball as well as we shot it tonight, especially from three point. Land. You know, uh, Neil, uh, Neil shot the ball extremely well. I think all four rush shots came from the, the three-point line. 
But uh, we just did a lot of other good things defensively. Uh, we really ran our offense. Uh, even when the game first started, I thought I thought Pam got off to a good start. Grizzly was scoring for him, and uh, that's where they wanted to get off to that start. But we didn't let that phase us. We continued to play solid defense on her. I thought she made some tough shots. But we just we were lighting up on the offensive end. I knew it was going to be a hard game for us to lose, you know, especially the way we shot the ball. Tajan A. Wright got it going. So glad to see that. And Zaniah White, so I talked about in the pregame, Zaniah White said, I can get in any sort of rhythm. And you talked about Grizzle. I mean, she had 17 points, but she only she had six at halftime. I think she got going a little bit, but really not that much of a factor. No, she got a lot of points when the game was kind of decided, you know, I think. And, uh, but, you know, to me, Chad, defense is about effort. That's what, it's all effort, you know. If you, anybody can be good defensively if you get that effort, you know. And that's what I thought we did. You know, we look at Cheatham's stats tonight. A lot of Cheatham's stats, the reason why they're so low is she was, she was on Grizzly the whole night. She was really focused in on trying to play, keep her from scoring a lot of baskets, and it kind of took away from her game offensively. But we didn't need her offensively. We needed her to do what she was doing, making it tough for number five to score that, uh, that bucket. And uh, I thought she did a real good job of that the whole night. We don't talk about Cheatham and defense in the same sentence. Is that, am I, are we underselling that? Oh, yeah, definitely. If you're not talking about it, because that, them long arms and long long frame of hers, she's a solid defense, and she's probably better defensively than she, than she is offensively, and people don't recognize it and don't give her enough credit for that. But she's she's a she's a stopper when it comes to contesting shots. You don't see her blocking a lot of shots, but she's contesting it because she's long. And when she gets those long arms and she starts expanding, she's a, she's She's a tough cookie to deal with on, on, on the defensive side of the ball. So you would rather her, what is it, is it that because she's a good defender, could you, are you comfortable putting it to her on the best player on the other team? Well, you know, to, we're comfortable putting her on the best player on the other team, but see, tonight we put on a guard. That we don't really want to do that simply because when you put on a guard, you take her away from the basket, and she's not going to rebound like we really want her to. But but we, we felt like we, it, was, it was necessary tonight to put her on, on Grizzly because uh, we, we felt like we could keep her out of the game and take her away from what they like to do. And so even if someone else starts scoring a little bit, that still ain't what they want to do. She has to have that ball in her hand. She's going to make things happen for them. And you see, the, you can see tonight when she went in the game, uh, the, the game really got out, got out of hand for them immediately. They had to bring her right back in. But we put Cheetah on because we feel like Cheetah would create more problems for her. Even when she got her shot out, we feel like uh, Cheetah could contest that shot. And, you know, and I thought she did a real good job. But the first couple shots uh, she made in the first quarter was tough shots. You know what I mean? But... You know, that's what we do. We would like to have Cheetah on somebody who plays the three or the four, but when she's trying to take a one or a two, that makes it a little difficult for her simply because we're bringing her away from the basket uh, too much, really. We don't want that because Cheetah is a big rebounder for us. You know? But I thought she did an excellent job tonight. Well, Destiny Brown did an excellent job, Coach, 16 and 12. Another solid effort. Hey, hey, when, 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 the, when the Brown kids in town and she plays like we know she's capable of playing, we're a real good basketball team. And we know sometimes she's going to get in foul trouble. But, but, but Fort, Fort came in the game and, and played decent for us, you know, in, in some of those games she got in foul trouble. But Destiny is in a, at another level right now, though, offensively and defensively. You can see it by the way she moves. Her body language is just perfect now. It's good. And when she's playing like that, we, we're just as good as anybody in the league. No, we're just as good as anybody in the league, but we, we have to find a way to keep her in the game, keep her out of foul trouble, you know, watch certain matchups we got her playing. Because if she's in the game, she makes everybody else better. Well, speaking of foul trouble, this was probably the first game, maybe not the first game, but maybe a while we didn't have anyone in foul trouble. <laughs> How easy does it make it on the sideline when you, when you don't have to manage you, the foul? You said it right. It's about the first game we had nobody in foul trouble. And it, and it, makes, the, it makes the game easier because you, you can really do some of the things offensively and defensively that you want to do because you have your group out there. You know, even though we have fans that can come in, but they change what we really want to do because they might not be as offensive minded as that person who, who's in foul trouble. But I thought our kids did a good job of playing good defense and being smart without fouling. We didn't put them to the line a lot. We're, even in the FAMU game, we put FAMU to the line a lot. We didn't We didn't put, a, we, I mean, we put Bethune to the line a lot. We didn't put FAM to the line a lot tonight. And that's good, solid defense, you know. So I just hope we keep playing this way and not foul and put people to the line and keep executing like we're doing, keep making them, them open shots. Those are the shots tonight, y'all, not the threes Neil will shoot. But Neil can make that shot. 
she can make that open look like that. But those in between shots, those 12 and 10 foot jump shots, we was counting them all night. When we make those shots, and they didn't give us a lot of back doors tonight. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. they gave up those 12 and 10 foot jump shots. When you don't get a back, when you when you take a back door away from us, that's what you give up. You know, we was making them night. When we made them like that, you're in trouble. Because you got to give us one of them. You're either going to give us the back door or you're going to give us up the 12 or 10 foot jump shot. And we was making them. Well, I was going to ask you about McAlfie. Uh, I mean, she was feeling it from beyond the arc. She got a nice little soft touch. She got, she can really shoot the basketball. We just try to tell her, you know, you, your shot is coming. All you got to do is play off your teammates. And she did a good job of playing off of them tonight. She liked to try to get it on her own too much, you know what I mean? But tonight she played off her teammates, and they found her, and she knocked it down. And that's what we need from her. We're talking with Lady Braves head coach Nate Kilbert, Zaniah White, a solid effort. Four of your five starters coaching double figures. How does that feel? Man, that's, <laughs> hey, look, I, it, it feels so good I can't describe it to you because that's what we need from them. But, but, but y'all, all of them are capable of doing that on a, on a daily basis. They just need to slow down a little bit and, 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 and have a little bit more confidence in what they're doing. I think Kayla Watson has been the key now. She's been the key to why we're playing as well as we are because her ability to come off the bench and give us that energy that she done gave us since she's been back, you know, that's been huge for us. You know, and, she, and she's making her shot she, every now and then. Now, she was on a struggle. She was struggling with her jump shot. She's starting to make that shot now. So that makes us a lot more difficult to defend. Were you concerned with her when she had to go to California to be checked out by her medical folks in California that you might lose her, she might come back, she might not be the same, you might have to manage her minutes? Look like uh, you're not doing that. I mean, she's free and flowing. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest with y'all, I was real concerned about that. To be honest with you, I didn't think we was going to get her back, to be honest with you, because I remember the injury and I remember how, how, how bad it, it was when it rolled up and how it looked, and I just didn't think we was going to get her back. But she's tough minded. I mean, she she's still playing with a lot of playing because it's well up after the game, but she's playing with so much energy and having so much fun now. This is the most I've seen her have fun after the injury. I told her, I said, now you like you're having fun now. Before the injury, you wouldn't let you have that kind of fun. She said, hey, Coach, I am. I'm having fun, you know. So uh, she's been she's been huge for it. I don't think she gets enough credit for that, but she gives us that energy that we need off the book. With her and Henderson coming off the bench now, we're a different team. But when we, we didn't have her in Florida, that was, that was a tough trip for us, not having her. Just getting her back changed the way we do everything. Speaking of having fun, it just seems to me like uh, during this stretch, it looks like we are having a little bit more fun, loosening the collar a little bit. Am I, am I, am I wrong on that? <laughs> no, you're right on that. You're right on that. Even the, even the dressing room is fun. You know, they, they talk. you can see it when they sit down and they listening more. You know, we get still a, still a questioning and they, they're saying, okay, now. You know, and that, and that and I think that was part of our problem to get along with all the injuries that we had. We were still questioning, we were, we were still questioning ourselves. We were fighting amongst each other. You know, when it came to, because somebody didn't make a play, didn't do what they supposed to do, still cheering that person on. Then we got to, you know, supporting our teammates more, you know, even when they made a bad play, you know, because if you ain't together, then how are you going to be the team if you are not together? You have to be together if you want to be able to be some of these good teams in our league. And I think our kids are starting to play together through the, through, the, through the tough times when we're not playing as well. They're starting to complement each other, and I think that's the key to us winning. Well, with the win, we're, for the what, second or third game in a row, we've handled our business, but now all of a sudden other teams that we needed to lose to, lose to help us out, that's happening. The Thule Cookman, Prairie View, and with that and our win, right now we're in a situation where we're tied for seventh place with Bethune Cookman and Prairie View. Have a tiebreaker on Bethune Cookman. We've got Prairie View on the next trip. Coach, how's it feel? Uh, it feels great, Ty. We just got to keep doing what we're doing. You know, like we are in control of our own destiny. All we got to do is keep winning. You know, keep winning. That's, and that's key because uh, uh, Bethune last three games are on the road. You know, uh, if Fam gonna fall back into that, we got the top break over Fam, we got the top break over Thorn, all the teams above us, and we have an opportunity to get the top break over Prairie View. All we do to do is take care of business when we go out there. So we're we're in a good situation. We just have to hope that we stay healthy and continue to play bas good basketball. That's the key. You know what's weird tonight? Jackson State 52, but through Cookman 39. That's weird. Hey, me and Coach Robinson was talking about that. They kept those scores low, and Jackson is vulnerable. They are very vulnerable. We just got to come despite out here. 13 and 0. Hey, exactly. Despite despite the ghost, you know you get you get bored. I hope they be bored. Excuse my expression. It's hell when they come here. On <laughs> I hope they be bored because that's how you get beat. You start getting bored. You know, but you know they have a good ball club. They have a 
solid, they have a solid bench. You know, they can they can sub men out and still be good. But hey, they, they the first half shot 53%, FAMU 41%, plus seven on the boards. And the Braves have an eight point lead. Landon Bussey talks about it. You know, we make a run, other team makes a run. We make another run. All right, let's see if the Braves can get back on the horse here. Eight-point lead with Byron Joshua, Jeremiah Gamble, Jalen Hawkins, Jeremiah Kendall, and Mike Peugeot. Hawkins steps into a three. Nope. Rebound. Kendall looks like getting, Vant got hit in the face, and he is shaking up. He is shaking up, slow and getting up, and FAMU slows things down, and Grant, like, he's got to come out, time out. He got hit in the face. And he's going to come out. Get up, Mike. Let's go. He was slow in getting up. Webster will check in for him. Six, six, six. 16 to shoot. On the bounce pass, Parker holding it. Gamble fronting him. Off a screen, Parker goes left, spear left wing, eight to shoot, pull up a spear. Nope, rebound Jeremiah Gamble. On the outlet, Joshua. Joshua, penetrate now, he'll pull it out. Spread it out for the Braves. 20 to shoot, eight point lead, 43-35. Jeremiah Kendall, fronted by Webster. Kendall, right block, spinning left, loader, no. Couldn't finish. And here's Parker. Park on the no look inside. Layup is good. The soft touch by Webster. His first bucket. It's a six point game. The Braves led by as many as 15. It's down to six. 43 37. Minute and a half into the second half. Joshua left wing. 13 to shoot. Joshua off the screen. Goes right. Top of the circle. Eight to shoot. Jalen Hawkins on the attack. Hawkins, no look for Joe. Shot is up no, and he's fouled with two to shoot. Schrant, well, Coleman, I believe, with the foul, number two. Again, the Braves are without the services of D.K. Thorne out for this game. And Peugeot at the line for the Braves. First trip to the line. First free throw is up, and it's short. For Joe, 9 of 16 in conference. Second free throw coming up. 43-37, Alcorn. No second is good. He's got three. Lead is seven, 44-37. 18-19 remaining. Parker, fronted by Gamble. Parker, Spear left wing. Spear, fronted by Joshua Spear. On the drop off, to the right side, Lamar, Spear, out top, here's a three, short by Parker. Rebound stick back is too strong by Lamar. And Jeremiah Kendall with it. Here's Joshua weaving, Joshua layup is good. Byron Joshua is third field goal. And the Braves by nine, 46 to 37. Joshua with six. Parker. Parker going left. Parker on the screen roll on the side. Knocked away by Peugeot. Gets it out of here. Joshua who attacks. Hawkins for three. No. Long rebound. Kendall. Kendall spinning. Baseline floater is good. Kendall with 14. Alcorn back up 11. 48-37. J.K. Parker, flooded by Gamble. And Parker, right wing. Grant set the check back in for Fayette Spear, right wing. Spear. Spear on the skip pass. Parker. Spear out top. Extra pass. Pull up three in the corner. Lamar, short. A back tap with it is Peugeot. Had it knocked away. Spear with it. Spear on the baseline. Getting inside. The layup is no good by Coleman, and the foul. Peugeot with his second. 
Peugeot, Joshua, and Jeremiah Gamble with two personals. And some free throws coming up here for FAMU and Coleman. Coleman at the line where he's 68% in conference. First free throw is up and it's good. Coleman makes it a 10-point game with 16.38 remaining. Second free throw coming up. Second is good. Bambi sticking around and they are doing a great job from the free throw line. Bambi is 14 for 14 from the free throw line. 48-39. 16.26 remaining. Joshua, Jeremiah Kendall, out top Joshua. Nine point lead, Grant back in for FAMU. Joe sets the screen, Joshua for three, way off. Loose ball, Kendall. Kendall puts it up, nope, they wave it off. And there's a foul here. And this the shot clock should not have reset. They're going to review it to see where we stand. So there'll be a timeout here. 16-10 remaining. 48-39. Alcorn. We'll take a break here. We'll be right back. This is Alcorn Braves basketball. Where do my friends and other students find their voice? We find our voice through the performing arts, along with millions of other high school students. By expressing yourself in a role on stage, through an instrument, or at the debate podium, the performing arts give us freedom to find ourselves, to find our place. The stage is where I can play, perform, and compete with my friends. Performing arts in your school is where creativity meets courage. Encourage the students in your life to find their voice through the performing arts. This message presented by the NFHS, where we encourage all students to play, perform, and compete together. They're still reviewing whether there's a shot clock violation. 48-39, let's uh, look at some men's scores. They have had a ruling three, three on the shot clock. Three on the shot clock. Texas Southern over Southern. Southern's won seven in a row. 12-10 TSU. TSU lost at home to Grambling the other night. Bama State over Valley 13-3. Pine Bluff over Alabama A&M, 28 to 13, with 12:06 left in the first. Jackson trying to win, I think their fourth or fifth in a row, 11 to four over Bethune Cookman, Grambling by one over Prairie View. Three to shoot. Joshua baseline left, lob to Kendall. Kendall floater, no rebound. Grant. Grant gets it out of head. Spears. Spears pass deflected. Spear got it back. Pass inside deflected. Inside Lamar, Lamar inside, shot is up, no, follow, no. Third opportunity, good, count it, and one, Coleman, his first bucket. Joe with his third. Seven point lead, 48-41, 15-53 remaining. Well, three offensive rebounds. Florida a &M only had three in the first half. They had three on that possession. Free throw by Chapman is good. Chapman makes it a six point game. 48-42, 15-49 remaining. Hawkins getting it inside. Kendall had it stripped. Spear with it. Spear to Coleman, the spear. Spear weaving. Spear getting it out here. Lamar stripped and fouled from behind. Jeremiah Gamble. Gamble. His third. Gamble and Peugeot with three personals apiece. 
Spear, baseline left. Spear, Grant. Left wing Parker. We got a offensive foul. Foul on Chapman, his third. So after leading by as many as 15 in the first half, leading by eight at the break, it's a six point lead with 15 30 remaining. 48 42. Joshua top of the circle. Peugeot flashes. Gamble with it. Joshua right wing Hawkins. Hawkins. Peugeot. Jump stop. Floater short. Grant with it. Well, had it taken away by Coleman. Here's Parker. Parker. Lamar. Spin had it knocked away by Gamble. Plus our Kendall with the knock away. 23 to shoot. Shram will check in. Well, the more we're letting FAMU hang around in this game, you get the sense they're getting a little bit more comfortable. Spear, baseline right. Grant right wing. On the handoff, Spear right. Try to curl left. Lamar. Lamar on the attack. Lamar, Chapman. Grant on the dump in, the one-hander. No, rebound, Gamble. Well, trickled out of bounds off of Joshua. They have used basketball with six to shoot. Fire! 14.51 Fire! remaining. Fire! They reset. Fire! They reset the clock to 20. They have used basketball. Spear on the near side to our right in front of their bench. Spear giving up, gets it back, skip passes a three, air ball by Lamar. Joshua weaving in traffic. Joshua on the dump in, a foul call is Peugeot, foul by Spear. Spear with a second. Second on Spear. Three team fouls a piece in this half. 48-42, too close for comfort. Crowd kind of empty here at the Whitney Arena. Gamble on the inbound right wing. Steps into a three. Nope. Spear on the box out on Joshua. Got, got it on the hop. Spear on the attack. Spear layup. No. Grant with it. Grant will attack. Layup. Good. Count the bucket. Count the bucket for Grant. Rizzo with his fourth. Shannon Grant with 10. FAMU within four. Well, they changed the foul to Kendall. And that's his second. Well, his third. Four point lead after leading by as many as 15. This is what Landon Bussey talks about being dominant. And we were dominant the first four minutes of this game. The FAMU is stuck around. Grant's been a problem. Grant with 10. The and one. It's good. He's got 11. Three point game. 48 45 with 14 14 remaining. Gains wide in for the Braves. Joshua out top, Gamble, Joshua, Joshua layup short. Loose ball, Kendall, he loses out of bounds. It'll remain great basketball. And Landon Bussey said he got hit. FAMU's head coach, Robert McCollum, thought that was a bad call. 14 to play, three point lead, intensity is picked up. Joshua to Gaines Wyatt. Braves have lost three games here at home and have leads in all of them they let slip away. Gaines Wyatt, skip past Joshua. Joshua, pull up from 16. No, and he was hacked with eight to shoot. Foul on. There's John. A couple of free throws coming up for Joshua. 13, 48 remaining. And the Braves trying to make a push here to climb to the top half of the conference standings. First free throw by Joshua. That's no good. 
FAMU perfect from the line, and the Braves right now are struggling from the free throw line here at home. Second is up, and that's good. Joshua with seven, four-point lead. 13-45 remaining, 49-45. Parker, top of the circle, got a screen, right wing. John, right wing. John looking inside for Grant. Lamar, Lamar top of the circle. Lamar on the duck end, John. John, jab, step, back down, lean, kick out. Trom, the six to shoot, driving baseline. Trom cut off, but lost it out of bounds. And now we're gonna have an overrule. Baseline official says, is basketball an overrule? FAMU will get the basketball, will keep it with four to shoot. Four to shoot. Four seconds, four seconds. Four to shoot. Parker, baseline right. Parker, Schramm, three to shoot. Step back three, is an air ball. Grant lays it up and in, didn't box him out. Shannon Grant with 13. Two point game. 49-47, 13 to play in the second half. Crowd definitely getting antsy. Gamble, top of the circle, Joshua, lob into Bayard. Bayard with the lean, his layup missed everything. Kendall with the foul, missed that. Third opportunity, that's no good. Rebound, Schramm. Bam, you can tie it or go ahead with a triple. Schramm leaves it for Parker. 12.45 remaining. Parker walks at top of the circle. Schramm left wing. Schramm lob inside, Brett. Kick out Luis. And now driving is a layup, and it's good, and FAMU has tied it up. Keith Lamar has tied this game at 49 with 12, 25 remaining. 49 all, Gaines Wyatt, right wing Joshua. 12, 17 to go, 17 to shoot. Joshua, Bayard, out top Gaines Wyatt. John, guarding him, Gaines Wyatt, losing it, getting it back. Gaines Wyatt, skip pass, Joshua for three, no. Rebound, Schwamm, 12 to play. FAMU can grab the lead on the outlet. John in traffic. Now Park on the lob, Grant. Grant plowing his way in, bullying his way in, bully ball as they call it. Timeout, Alcorn. FAMU has rallied and grabbed the lead. 51-49, 11-47 remaining. Timeout. Alcorn, Landon Bussey did really use his timeouts in this situation. He's got to take it right now. It's a 30-second timeout turned into a full. FAMU has the lead, 11.47 remaining, 51-49. We'll take a break. We need it. We'll be right back. This is Braves Basketball. In school sports, it's easy to see the wins, the moments that make headlines. But there's so much work that goes unseen for any of it to happen. My name is Phil Risen, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Throughout the country, athletic administrators dedicate countless hours to making life-changing opportunities possible for student-athletes through sports. Their sacrifice is fueled by the belief that every student can grow and deserves their time to shine. On behalf of the NIAAA, we want to thank every athletic administrator for your tireless dedication to providing 7.8 million students across the country a path to a better future. This message presented by the NIAAA, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. by the Rattlers. For the right wing, Joshua fronted by Luis. 12 to shoot, Byron Joshua, Gaines Wyatt, step up three, no, long rebound, Schwab, out ahead, Lamar, up and under, layup, got it. Seven for Pete Lamar, and the Rattlers have a four point lead with 11 minutes left. This is some turnaround, 
Gaines Wyatt left wing, top of the circle, right wing Joshua. Joshua off a screen. Joshua fronted by Parker. Joshua Sankovich passed the bar, didn't expect it, but got it. Gaines Wyatt on the attack is floated. Tough shot, good, got it. Gaines Wyatt, tough shot, the floater. The shooter's touch. Second bucket for Gaines Wyatt. Grant is fourth. Two point Rattler lead. 10.45 remaining. Gaines Wyatt will get the and one. Braves beat this team by nine, and it was kind of almost the same story. We had a big lead in the second half, but fan use threes kind of kept it interesting. Free throw made by Gaines Wyatt. It's a one point lead with 10.40 remaining. 53 52, fan use Schwamm fronted by Gaines Wyatt. Well, the last three games, we've held teams under 60. It's going to be a heck of a challenge to do that here tonight. The top of the circle, Lamar. Lamar Schwamm dumps it off. Perfect Webster, finger roll good. Webster, his second bucket. 55-52 Rattlers. We approach the halfway point of the second half here at the Whitney Arena. 55-52. Joshua hands off Peugeot. Peugeot on the jump in by our foul. 10 on four remaining. 18 to shoot. I are fouled by Webster. Halfway through the second half. That's a media timeout. 16 fouls for FAMU, four for Alcorn. Halfway through the second half, media timeout. 10 on four remaining, 55, 52, FAMU. We'll take a break. We shall return in 60 seconds. This is Braves basketball. You guys just didn't want it bad enough. That should have been an easy win. What were you doing out there? You got to hustle. You could have made that play if you'd been open. I'm going to home after the game. I think you're helping by telling me what I did wrong and what I need to work on. All I hear is that I'm not good enough, that I'm supposed to be perfect, that it's not okay to lose. On the car at home, all I need to hear is how much you love me and enjoy watching me play. That my worth isn't determined by my performance. That even on my worst day, I am worthy. That you see me learning, growing, and doing my best. And that is enough. This message presented by the NHSAA and the Mississippi Athletic Administrators Association. Florida AM University. Two and ten in conference. Chances of them making the tournament. Slim, mathematically still a shot. But they're not playing like a 2-10 team in conference. They've rallied from 15 down. They were down eight at the break. They have 20 points in the first 10 minutes of this second half. They've outscored the Braves 20 to nine to this point. The end won by Bayard to make it a two point game, 55-52. Bayard, first free throw is good. The Braves in this second half, three of 17 shooting. They went from 53% shooting to 40%. FAMU shooting 43% as Bayard's second is good. Halfway through the second half, 55-54, FAMU. Top of the circle, Webster. Sinkovich in, Webster, Spear. Spear dumps it inside, losing it. Out of bounds is Webster. It will be Braves basketball. Sinkovich, Hawkins, Bayard, Joshua, Peugeot, the lineup. 9.38 remaining. 
55-54. Hawkins, top of the circle, Joshua. Left wing, Peugeot. Looking for Sinkovic, not there. Joshua, right wing, Hawkins. 10 to shoot. Hawkins, top of the circle, Joshua. Eight to shoot. Joshua, top of the circle. Joshua, left wing. Four to shoot. Joshua, tough shot. Floater, no. Rebound, Lamar. Lamar to Spear. Spear weaving in traffic. Stops on the wing. On the handoff. Lamar is back to pick. Joshua, layup, good. Joshua with nine. The Braves with a one-point lead. Over behind the back dribble, Lamar, and Joshua picked his pocket. Braves by one. 56-55, 20 to shoot. We cut off on the wing, losing it, getting it back, splitting the double team. Drops it off to Lamar, and he'll back it up, 10 to shoot. Lamar to Spear. Spear steps into a three. No. Rebound, Hawkins. And we got a foul called. John with the foul. His second. And that's the 17th foul. And Gamble was set to check in. Landon Bussey calls him back to the bench. Jalen Hawkins at the line for the Braves. His first trip to the line here this evening. Hawkins, 8 of 10 in conference. 80%, 1 and 1. First free throw is good. Hawkins with 3. Braves with a two-point lead. Second free throw coming up. And this one is good. Well, the Braves have rallied nicely. And have a three-point lead, 58 to 55, with eight and a half remaining. Schwamm for the Rattlers, playing with a face guard. Schwamm, top of the circle. Hawkins fronting him. Luis. Looking inside for Lamar, not there. Luis out top, Schwamm off the screen, left wing. Schwamm, Luis right side. Lamar with nine to shoot. Lamar one on one with Sinkovich. A Schwamm left wing with four to shoot. Schwamm pull up on the elbow, good. Schwamm, his second bucket, he's got five. One point game, it's a tough shot. Good defense, just a better shot against the clock. One point lead, 7.50 remaining. Joshua cut off. Joshua, Byard falling out of bounds. Gets it to Hawkins. Byard layup, he missed it. And the foul called on Webster. We have a timeout. 18 fouls on FAMU, four team fouls on the Braves. And we have a timeout on the floor. The eight minute media, 7.41 left, 58. 57. All corn. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. This is Braves Basketball. Where do my friends and other students find their voice? We find our voice through the performing arts, along with millions of other high school students. By expressing yourself in a role on stage, through an instrument, or at the debate podium, the performing arts give us freedom to find ourselves, to find our place. The stage is where I can play, perform, and compete with my friends. Performing arts in your school is where creativity meets courage. Encourage the students in your life to find their voice through the performing arts. This message presented by the NFHS, where we encourage all students to play, perform, and compete together. Southern University won seven in a row, and they're down by 15 at Texas Southern. Jackson State has won three in a row. And if the Braves can win this game, the Braves have won four in a row. So you could have two hot teams getting together here on Saturday. If the Braves handle this one, Jackson State handles Bethune-Cookman. 
All right at the line for all corn. One point game. Early second half, Texas Southern leads Southern 37 to 23. Bama State leads by five over Valley. Meyer free throw, first one short. We'll talk about this stat. The Braves with that miss by Bayard are 13 of 20 from the free throw line. FAMU is 16 of 16 from the line. Second is up and it's good. Bayard with eight. Two point all corn lead, 59 to 57. Regardless of what happens, I know he'll take the victory, but the defense defensively, I mean, FAMU is on pace for probably a 70 point game. Three straight games of holding teams to under 60. That might come on in here. Here's Schwab going to the rack. Lab missed it all. It's all the flex ball on the floor. He gets it back. Now here's Lamar for a three. That's no good. Joshua with the rebound. 59-57. Byron Joshua. Sinkovich. Peugeot. The lineup. Hawkins. Peugeot. Right wing, jump stop, no, it's like a bit floater, he missed it. Got it back, pump fake, layup, missed that. Spear for FAMU. Spear in traffic, pull up on the elbow. No, ball back tap. With Webster, ball on the floor, got it back, lean in, Webster. Lamar, finger roll, got it. Braves didn't get the 50-50. Well, Sankovic had two or three. Good opportunity, the last possession. Rattlers have tied it up at 59. 625 remaining. Joshua left wing. Off a screen, goes right. Bounce pass, Bayard. Peugeot on the attack. Step back, no. Ball Kim, ball diving on the floor, out of bounds. Remain Braves basketball as Lamar slid with the ball out of bounds. 20 to shoot. Kendall in, Gamble in. 6-10 remaining. Sinkovich will have a seat. And uh, we'll let Byer will have a seat. 6-10 left. 20 to shoot. Kendall, top of the circle, Joshua. 16 to shoot. Jalen Hawkins, out top Joshua. Joshua, top of the circle on the attack. Joshua, step back, no. Follow, no. Peugeot trying to keep it alive. Kendall falling out of bounds, thrown off the swam. Braves will keep it with 15 to shoot. Great awareness by Jeremiah Kendall. They reset the clock, 19 to shoot. 551 remaining. Tie game. Joshua right wing. Hawkins plowing his way and cut off underneath the bucket. Reverse layup, no. Got it back, lost it. Had it stripped, actually. Here's Spear. Spear stops behind the back dribble, steps up. Spear top of the circle. 22 to shoot. Bam, you can re-grab the lead with five and a half left. We're tied at 59. Lamar top of the circle. Schwam right wing, he's been huge. Skip pass, top of the circle, Chapman. Chapman, cut off. Chapman on the attack, Spear, floater, no. Rebound, Kendall. Landon Buckley tells Joshua to go, 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 go. And Joshua, where Kendall steps into a 17 footer, no. Rebound, Lamar, it's probably a little too far for his range. Five minutes left. We're tied at 59. Braves beat this team by nine in Tallahassee. We had this team almost knocked out in the first seven minutes. But the Rattlers have got the deck, and here's Kendall a reach in on Grant. That's his fourth. Benet will check in. <laughs> Benet will try to body up Grant. Grant's got four. And Benet's job is to try to get Grant out of the game. He's got 15, but four personals. Schwamm on the wing, driving baseline, cut off. Spear, 
on the attack, pump fake, pull up, no, rebound Joshua. Joshua on the attack, Joshua, Jeremiah Gambrell, to the Joshua, 24 to shoot, 428 left, we're tied at 59. Joshua top of the circles, they spread the floor, Peugeot, no look, Kendall, Kendall, jump up, good, got the touch. Kendall with 16, 61-59, Brazy grabbed the lead, 410 left. Spear top of the circle. Swan, and we've got a hold of foul on Benet. Benet with the hold. 407 remaining. 16 foul on the Braves in this half. How did he hold him? I mean, he didn't have the ball, didn't have the position. Parker will check in for Fayemu and for Schwam. 4.07 remaining. Spear scoreless in the second half. Spear, top of the circle, Park, Lamar. Now top, here's Parker for three, short. Parker got it back, from fake, and Benet fouled him. Got him in the air. That's the 17th foul on the Braves. Benet with his second, picked up two quick ones. Exactly four to play. Timeout. 61-59. Alcorn with the lead. Four to play in this second half. We'll take a timeout from the Whitney Arena. We'll be right back with Alcorn Braves basketball. I have loved doing sports, especially for my school. And that's because school sports are special. It's where it's safe to fail. It's where we taught resilience. Where our fear becomes confidence. It's where we learn to get back up after every fall. School sports are where 7.8 million students go from I can't to I can. This message presented by the MHSAA and the Mississippi Athletic Administrators Association. A moment in black history. Kamala Harris is the first female vice president and the highest ranking female official in U.S. history, as well as the first African American and the first Asian American vice president. She is also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. A moment in black history brought to you by WPRL. 91.7 FM. Sixty-one fifty-nine. Alcorn with the lead. Texas Southern leads Southern forty-two twenty-nine. Braves in this game. Twenty-two of fifty-nine. Thirty-seven percent. Just eighteen percent shooting in the second half after shooting fifty-three percent in the first half. Parker at the line. First is up and it is good. Kirk Parker with that make, and you heard Landon Bussey. 17 for 17. 18 for 18 from the free throw line is FAMU. Some shooting by the Rattlers. Who would have thought that? 18 for 18, and that's the big story. 61 all. Well, he's got to get back with it. 350 remaining. Joshua top of the circle, Gambrel, Peugeot, Kendall, Hawkins. Peugeot on the attack, bounce pass, Hawkins. Reverse lap is good. Hawkins with the bucket to give the Braves a two-point lead. And Landon Buster says, let's get a stop. 63-61. Three and a half remaining. Crowd and getting into it now. Parker top of the circle. Left wing. Parker pass. No intercepted. Here's Peugeot. Three on two. Peugeot layup. And the Braves by four with 317 remaining. So after the Rattlers tied it up with a couple of free throws, the Braves with four straight to go up four. 317 remaining. 65-61. Well, this is where the Braves defense has been solid down the stretch of games. The free throw is good. 
61. 3.17 remaining. Can we get a stop here? Spear scoreless in the second half and a timeout FAMU. 3.12 remaining. And it's a 30 second timeout. So FAMU will take a 30 second timeout. So as we look at the other scores, Alabama State 38, Valley 33 in the second half. Texas Southern by 13. Alabama A&M by four over Pine Bluff. Rambling winning at Prairie by three. And Jackson State 32, Bethune Cookman 29. 3-12 left here in the second half. 66 to 61. Huge possession here defensively for the Braves. Schwem will inbound the basketball in front of his team's bench. 3-12 left here in this second half. 66-61. Schwem on the inbound. Schwem skip pass. Coleman. Coleman to Parker. Parker, Schwamm, right wing. Schwamm with 18 to shoot. Spear. Left side. Parker. Spear. Pass thrown away. Intended for Parker. Kendall will check in. The 2.56 remaining. The Braves are trying to win their fourth in a row. They'll try to get to eight and five which will put them in the hunt for third place. Southern 10 and two, they're losing. Grambling winning, and the Braves with the win can get to eight and five. Hawkins, up in the circle, Joshua. 2.45 remaining. Braves with the ball with 2.41 remaining. Hawkins for three, he's got it! Puts all corn up eight. To see if the Braves can get a stop here. 69 to 61. And we got a foul. It's going to be on Jeremiah Gamble. 226 remaining. And that's the eighth team foul. So FAMU will shoot free throws. the line. But free throws up and it's good. FAMU has not missed. FAMU is 19 for 19 from the free throw line. Makes it a seven point game. Second is up. It's good. They're 20 for 20. And yet the Braves have the lead. 69 to 63. 220 remaining. Six-point lead. Peugeot, Hawkins for three. And he's got it again! Hawkins with two big threes to put Alcorn up nine. Louise smash intercepted. Here's Gamble. Finger on block. Kendall with it. Kendall. Brandon Bussey going to get his timeout. Brandon Bussey got a timeout. 156 remaining. 30 second timeout. Well, Jalen Hawkins has stepped up with two big threes to put the Braves up nine. Hawkins with 12 points, 10 in the second half. Braves have one timeout remaining. 156 remaining. Nine point lead. 72 63. 156 remaining. This is a 61 59 game with 355 remaining. The Braves on an 11 to 4 run over the last two minutes. Again, it's a game in which the Braves defensively has found a way, and Jalen Hawkins has just stepped up. 
23 to shoot, nine point lead. Brace can use some clock here. Joshua trying to buy Spear. The Braves have shut out Spear in the second half. Jeremiah Kendall on the attack, taking the bump, and he's held and fouling out of Shannon Grant. Grant has fouled out with 15. Grant with 15. able to foul him out. They tried to get the... They tried to get Benet to get him his fifth foul. Couldn't do it. But Kendall does. 141 remaining. First free throw is up and it's good. Kendall with 17. 10 point lead, 73-63. The Braves on a 12, now 13 to four run. The Braves lead 74 to 63. 138 remaining as a lob, we fall out of bounds. Did he come out with out of bounds? He did. 135 remaining. 11 point lead, Braves in good shape now. Well, FAMU gave us all they can handle. Braves had a 15-point lead. Now all point up 10. Joshua, Peugeot, Fam chasing. Kendall. Kendall, lob intercepted. Spear. Spear lost it, got it back. Spear, skip pass. Into Lamar. Shot block, got it back. Layup, good. And one. With 116 remaining, count the bucket. And the foul called on Kendall. He's fouled out. So Kendall is fouled out. So the bigs are fouled out. Grant fouled out with 15. Kendall just fouled out with 17. That makes it a 74-65 game. 116 remaining. Lamar with the end one. He's got 11. Oh, this one not quite over. Lamar to make it an eight-point game on the free throw. Fanny has it missed. Free throw is good. That might be 21 for 21. Timeout. 116 remaining in this second half. It's a 30-second timeout. 74 to 66. The Braves with the lead. Despite Terrific free throw shooting by FAMU. Hawkins' two big threes were huge. Hawkins with 12 second half points. He's got 14 for the game. So Kendall with 17, Gamble and Hawkins with 14 apiece. 116 remaining. 116 remaining. Braves trying to win their fourth in a row. It's an eight-point lead. Braves got to get this ball in. How soon will FAMU trap? How soon will they foul? Hawkins running the baseline. Joshua. Joshua double. Joshua lob. Gaines Wyatt. Gaines Wyatt crosses half court. Gaines Wyatt fouled by Spear. And once they broke half court, they handled the pressure. Fan Lee trying to preserve time. Spear with his third. Spear with 10 points at the break. And he's still stuck on 10. So the Braves have done a nice job in shutting down their best player after halftime. He's wide at the line. First free throw, no good. Eight point lead with 107 remaining. Second free throw for Gaines Wyatt. And this one is good. Nine point game. Peugeot will check in. 107 remaining. Jackson State will be here on Saturday. The break can hang on this last minute and Jackson State wins. You can have one of the two hotter teams in the league.
Fear, step back, good. Tough shot, timeout. First bucket for Spear in the second half, he's got 12. It's a seven point game with exactly one minute left. 75, 68, one minute to go. We'll take a break, we'll be right back in 60 seconds. This is Braves basketball. A moment in black history. Kamala Harris is the first female vice president and the highest ranking female official in U.S. history, as well as the first African American and the first Asian American vice president. She is also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. A moment in black history brought to you by WPRL. 91.7 FM. 7.41 remaining at, at Texas Southern. TSU 55, Southern 38. Well, that's a whopper of a score. Bama State by 12 over Valley. The other game, well, this one raised in a comfortable position. Pine Bluff A&M, Grambling Prairie View, but through Cookman Jackson State, I'm gonna sound like a CNN on election night. Too close to call. Peugeot, baseline right. Gets it into Joshua. Joshua pushing it. Joshua on the outlet, deflected. Gamble with it, and we've got a foul called on Lamar. Lamar with his fourth. 55 seconds remaining. Land <laughs> Russell shakes his head like, what is going on? Um, not a smart play. Now, I'm sure Landon Bussey will be honing in on all of this stuff. Byard will check in. Gamble at the line. First is up. It's good. Gamble with a quiet, I think, 15. He was red hot in the first half. That's his first point of the second half. Raised by eight. 55 seconds remaining, 55.3 to be exact. Second free throw coming up. And this one is good. Raised by nine, 50 seconds remaining. Parker, Spear for three, short. And rebound Gamble. Well, FAMU was giving it, was putting it all on the line on that shot. Joshua on the out there, Hawkins. We got a clock issue. 38.6 remaining. And Landon Bussy sitting right in front of me here. They're going to take a look at it. I think they're going to head to the replay to see how much time is remaining. And that'll give us an opportunity to update the scoreboard. 41 all, Jackson State and Bethune-Cookman. Grambling by eight over Prairie View, 62 to 54, halfway through the second half. If Grambling wins that game and Southern's losing big, you got a tie for first place and Grambling will play at Southern University coming up on a first place battle. That'll be a lot of fun. That game will be at the Bell G. Clark Center. You know, Southern was up 17 at Grambling, and Grambling won by 17. Braves basketball, 38.6 remaining. 24 to shoot. Expect FAMU to probably foul. It's the Braves getting in. Peugeot throws it to Joshua. You're chasing, and Joshua, far side, and he's fouled. Ashram with 32.4 remaining. Landon Bussey had the board out. Graham with his first, I believe. Thirty-two point four remaining. First free throw is good. Byron Joshua. 
I tell you what, FAMU is perfect from the line in this game. Second free throw coming up, and it's good. 11-point game, 32.4 remaining. Spear, here's John. Parker for three, no. Rebound Peugeot with 18 seconds left, and that's going to do it. The Braves are going to win their fourth in a row. Well, fam, you gave us all they can handle and more. Some game, it was 49-47, and fam, you led 55 to 52 halfway through the second half, and the Braves win it, scoring 27 to 13 in the last 10 minutes. As the Braves whip the win, they'll go to eight and five, FAMU two and 11. So the Braves with eight wins. Jackson's playing Bethune-Cookman. One of those teams will have eight wins. So the Braves are pushing for third place. And they've got Jackson State coming in. Jackson